Hello, everybody. Uh, that was disingenuous. Hi, guys. Um, I'm Cameron. I'm in the middle of editing the first of these things. This was actually the second time uh, Reagan and I had chatted together uh, about making this movie. This was the first one where we were like, hey, we should open it up and get some audience participation, or at least let people into the process. So um, if you like what you see, donate so that we can make this movie. I'm estimating we need like 50 grand, something like that. I haven't discussed that with Reagan. Uh, but, you know, all the help we can get is is great. So please donate if you can. Send us an email if you have any ideas or like want to contact, I don't know, any ideas on how we can get this thing made because it's an important story for us to tell since we are living in a women's health apocalypse scenario right now. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I'll be back every 20, 30 minutes or so to remind you guys, subscribe, share, you know, we want to show everyone how this thing is made. And um, yeah. Oh, and also, this is the first one I had totally forgotten that, uh, that we were supposed to chat at this time i got the time zones mixed up so that's why it's on my phone and uh the these episodes get better production value as they go on oh uh and one last thing this episode was recorded prior to the writers uh and actor strike was stopped was ended um uh so we talk a little about that, a lot about that, and it makes it a little dated, but you know, you know, you, know, you get to see, you get to see what was going through our minds at the time. So. Big Lebowski. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm recording yeah, now, by yeah. the way. Screen recording. Um, yeah. I'm screen recording on well, my phone. Oh, Yay! I'm screen recording. Yeah, I'm <laughs> stream recording. <laughs> That's great. Um, yeah. I'm not, listen, Reagan, I'm not a monster. I don't actually eat string trees like this, but I only oh. have one hand. So hey, honestly, I don't judge anyone by the way they eat their string cheese. If you would like to eat your string cheese that way, wow. You know, I uh, hey. That's a libertarian. I've been, I've been, I've been working on, on myself a lot. Okay. Oh, I, um, I used yeah. to judge everybody for everything. But. I know. And now I'm just a, just, you know, I choose my battles. You know what I'm saying? I, <laughs> wait, wait, you know where I'm going with this? I choose my battles. Oh, oh, oh. oh. and I, and I will not judge you. I will not choose the battle of of the of the way you choose to chew. I think you lost it, Reagan. I think, I, think I did too. I think I did too. I think it's gone. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about this misogynistic terroristic movie. Yeah. Um. It's so, dude. I love it. I. I, ha I there I was are like, so I'm... many typos, I'm sure. So I write in, I don't use um, Final Draft. Uh huh. Money. Yes, um, I have a, I, okay, I won't say it because we're recording. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got the hook up. Um, yeah, yeah. I, so I use this thing called Celtics. This is, it's just like a classic, you know, old, it's uh -huh. essentially the same thing, uh, except not classist, and it's free. Gotcha. And, um, but the issue is at after about 20 pages or so for whatever reason there's a glitch where it stops spell checking so like I, I, it's fine if you like close it out and upload it but if you're like in the zone you're not yeah 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 totally <laughs> really? i really didn't notice anything i'm okay. my adhd kind of i like oh, yeah. when when i read i kind of like there, I, I might right. skip. Yeah, exactly. That's how most humans are. Don't worry. Yeah. Oh, I know. I know. Those of us 
afflicted with the ADHD. It's it's how people read. Yep. Generally. Yep. I I uh, I have to try really hard if I want to like read every single little word. <laughs> the issue with ADHD is that we have to. We'll be re what we think is reading something, and then we realize I did not log any of that information. Nope. So we'll just go back over it. Yep, over uh, and, and over. Am I? I'm still not reading this. What? Yeah. What happened? <laughs> what am I doing instead? Yeah. What have I been doing? <laughs> My eyes are functional. My brain right. Is not. Brain is somewhere else. Okay, so we're forty pages into this puppy. Yep. Um, it, of of rough draft, of course, and we want right. to see, but, but uh, you know what I miss, Reagan? What do you the miss, old, Cameron? The old '90s method of screenwriting, where it's like the first act is getting to know everybody. Yeah, like yeah, universe. setting the story, setting the and stage, then, getting you invested in their personalities. Nowadays, and I don't know. If, I think it's chicken and egg, but the complaint is that everything has to get going exactly from the beginning because uh because of attention span now i think yep. that's more to do with people saying that and then creating that and then because they make think content like that it it you know it's yeah egg. i think but, there's plenty of room for whatever we want to whatever do we want to do so long as it's engaging and the characters are likable who cares that's and you know, there's plenty of 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 uh, people out there who appreciate a good a good story, no matter yes. you know. It's like I'm hooked. Yeah. Forty That's pages it. in. Yeah. Yeah. So forty pages in, and also look at something like Silence of the Lambs. It's mostly atmosphere until like it gets going, and then once it gets going, it's pretty intense. But, right. Right. Um, well, like you said, the '90s. Like, there's lots of movies. Like, like uh, well, I'm trying to think, but I mean, yeah. There, uh, there's, there's, there's seven. That's I was classic. just. That was literally right. I mean, what like I was, creepy, right. What I was about to say. Obviously, there's the murder scenes, but Kevin Spacey doesn't even show up till like over an hour into the movie. <laughs> they don't even say he's in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> I um, wonder why. Yeah. Um. I want to give it away. Um, so, okay. So here's where, okay. Tell me your thoughts. Um, uh, your unabridged thoughts or abridged thoughts, depending on how much time you have. <clears throat> no, and, I'm, and I'm, let's I'm crack yeah. into it. I would say in the future, I think when I'm actually at my computer, we could, you can like go through this, like, like yeah, yeah. The script might be kind of cool, but yeah, that would be that would be very cool. That's what I was I was wondering if if we were if, you know I'm down for whatever. Uh, we can definitely do that. I literally I was like I'm gonna make all these notes, and then I was just like reading, and then I made like two notes. Um, uh, but they're like it's just like things I like. <laughs> um. Yeah, on page well, I four. You're being so thorough, or attempting to be so thorough, at least. Oh yeah, I mean, I I I try, I do try. Um, let's see. It's like on page four, the wife. It's when um, oh, is that what it was? Let me see. And by the way, all of these character names, they are not. They're just. Oh, for sure. So like they're, I'm happy to change them to make them actually intelligent, you know. So no, yeah, I know it's syllable good. Syllable names are just easier. So <clears throat> I just throw them out there. No, totally. But when the wife and uh, and Hale, the girlfriend, are in the, uh, the kitchen. kitchen, yeah, and she's talking about the former the the woman who was in the position before slept with everybody. I thought that was mm -hmm. that was nice that we. I don't know. Just she was. Well, the idea is it, all the wives are kind of have the internalized um exactly misogyny themselves so yeah part of that is making fun of all the other way well, who knows if that's even true but, right you know, they're right. all gossiping they're all but that's probably what all their husbands said yeah <laughs> about or you know they heard exactly. the you know um and this is just a I'm like, I know, I was literally just like writing, I random, 
Um, I don't want to hear it. Well, this is like, this is way later. This is like page 20 with Deb and Dan. I love that. So is Dan, Dan's like, how old is Dan? Which one's Dan? Her brother, Deb's brother. brother. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Daniel. I need to get, yeah, I need to go back to that character. But yeah, um, I don't know. I figured he'd be maybe a little younger, maybe a little more idealistic or something. Um, yeah, that's what, yeah, like, like. I'm coming in here. Maybe he's like a, a bit of a, uh, maybe like a slacker boy. Uh huh. He's just kind of he's a '90s boy. Um, maybe not by when he was born, but like that's his vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he's he's intelligent and empathetic, uh, but he's he's like um. I like Dan. Chaotic good, almost like. Yeah, I like him. I understand him. Yeah. For sure. He's kind of he's got a chip on his shoulder a little yeah. bit towards yeah. his mom and his life that he's ha- had, mm-hmm. but at the same time, he he seems to understand that they're all human and like yeah, every, and like, they're grown adults too. They he right. wants to have a relationship with them, but he's right. also not gonna like forgive them or not not right. not forgive them, but not forget. Exactly. Yeah, I yeah. totally get it. And I haven't really established what not trauma but what exactly their life got was and it probably there is probably some sort of trauma there Um, Mm -hmm. and we can figure that out at some point but um yeah i want to get back to that because i I want there to be some at least one guy in her life that is like a nice person (laughs) 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 totally not to say not all men or anything no 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 yeah but it would seem a little It'd be unrealistic. Uh, and also, right. like, it may, might say more the fact that the only guy that isn't, like, hitting on her or trying to use her is her brother. Right. <laughs> All the men around here, there's no, there's nothing wholesome. Even though the whole small town aesthetic wants to be wholesome, there's nothing wholesome. You know, right. So. Underneath it all, there's nothing wholesome about it. Except Literally, the like, they're constantly there. drinking. They're constantly, you know... Stuffing their faces. They're constantly, you know, talking about, talking shit about other people who aren't there. Right. But it's the good old boys. We're just Yeah. Fun. Yeah. Go to church every Sunday. I was, uh, what was I listening to? It was something. Oh, it was Hang Mike Pence. Uh, whatever. <laughs> You know how you just casually listen to the yeah. recordings of Hang Mike Pence? Sure, 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 sure. Yeah. Uh, the people that uh, were there and the people that still support that that clan are like, <laughs> they'll say, Ugh. they didn't really mean Hang Mike Pence. They didn't really. Right. So I'm they like, just wanted him to, you know, do the right thing. They just, they just wanted to give him some extra, like, yeah, uh, uh, chiropractor sessions, stretch right. him out a little. Yeah. Anyway, um. So, like, people yeah. will excuse anything by just saying, "Oh, they don't really mean that." Right. It was a joke. It was a own, yeah. It's their own ignorance, of course. Right. Like, willful ignorance, anyway. So that's sure. whenever all the the coppers and all the you know all they're they're saying terrible things like oh yeah we're all waiting for her to turn 18 right 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 Um, they they uh she's like oh he does well just like whenever he tries to get hooked up with the threesome she's like oh he doesn't really mean that he's harmless right who cares it's like well okay that's that might be true but there's a pattern here right you know, so right, right. The idea is all these good old boys, even not in a, just a sexist way, just in like a crude sort of unprofessional way. It's like, yeah, yeah, like like. Oh, hello. No, that's it. Go ahead. Oh yeah. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. My uh, earbud like did a thing. Um. Yeah, like it, it's uh, it's almost like you know, people will people will tell you exactly what they are thinking like i mean it's people it's like you know 
people aren't usually, uh, especially people like this, aren't like speaking in code or anything. No, like they're, no, they're not. Enough to. Right, right. I mean, there's dog whistles and stuff, sure, yeah. but that's usually like, um, um, between I each remember, other. Like, I remember when I would go to the family Christmases and, uh, <laughs> you know, a lot of my fam and they're good. Well, they're friendly people. Um, <coughs> yeah. the, they're very, very Republican. Uh, and obviously I'm a very, very white boy. So like mm -hmm. anytime, and they also, they knew I was creative and, you know, pretty liberal. Yeah. Uh, we're kind of the black sheep of the family because we're so liberal, but like, right. you know, we're all still friendly and we all still get along. But sure. at the same time, it was always them that would do tiny, and not just family, just people in Texas. Yeah. Like, especially when you're like a, a a white male, especially a straight white male. They just start um, talking to you like. They'll start talking to you like you're part of their club. They'll do little dog whistles. Like, yeah. Did you hear about that Hamas? I know. That's crazy. That's crazy, right? Like, I know, and you're like, you yeah, like, like, wait, wait a second. It's like, it's big. That oh yeah, it's a tragedy. And yep. They'll start poking away to figure out if you're. Yep. Uh, where you right. sit on everything. Yeah. Yep. Oh, uh, I so know. They do do that kind of stuff, but usually they just a lot of the times. And that's what I was going to say at the like at the family things. They'll just assume that you're part of the crowd, and then no, yeah. You know, just bring, like, ah, oh, can you believe this, Obama? Like, oh, I oh. know. You know, and just start, and it's like, oh, wait, you didn't, like, we yeah. didn't have this discussion beforehand. Like, you should have. You, right. Yeah. Anyway, so yep. they will do dog whistles, and they will do certain things like that. But Right, uh, right. But, I mean, generally. Something charming about people being who they appear to be, you know, that are, right. they don't have, like, the depth. You know, they yeah. are just exactly what they are. They're, that is what you see is what you get. Yeah. yeah. And that's fine. But uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, keep, let, keep going. Yeah. 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 Um, so, yeah, I I think uh, let's see. What else did I <laughs> um, Oh, yeah. Oh, this was just a dialogue thing. But dialogue is so we the can. The whole thing is dialogue. What are you talking about? Well, I know. I mean, like, just like a, like, I wanted, I, I, there was like a line that I was just oh, like, no, I, I, I wanted to, uh, change what happened, or not really even change, but just. We haven't even gotten to any action scenes. I don't even know if there will be action scenes. It's a scary crime thriller movie. We'll see. I mean, it would. I mean, it would make sense if there it was be, some action. Yes. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, as long as it's done, like, you know, of course, like, right. yeah. not, like, forcing it upon There's anyone. no action. There, there's only, like, one action scene in all of Seven, you know, and it's whenever yeah. they show up to Kevin Spacey's apartment, and then they there's, like, a foot chase. That's, yeah, yeah, and through the halls and through the, and it's really good, too. Yeah, but anyway. What was the dialogue? Did you find it? Yeah, it's uh, uh, uh it's so small. Where uh, where did it go? Oh, just where she says, "I'm grateful he kept a roof over our head." Mm -hmm. I don't know why I wanted to change it to, "He worked hard to feed us and keep a roof over sure. our head." Yeah, let's do it. That sounds good. Just because I think. In her mind, someone working hard, despite how, like, if they treated you badly, mm -hmm. the excuse is they're tired, they work so hard, they do yeah. so much. They're going and through so, a lot. And so in her mind, if you work really hard, that's her sign of, like, you love me. And no yeah, matter, even them. if, right. Yeah. And so I think in her mind, just instead of just, I'm grateful he kept a roof over our head, it's like, sure. hey, asshole, you're the asshole. He worked hard to keep a roof over our head. I know yeah, he sure. must, he was an asshole too, but he worked really hard. Right. And, and, and may, that's her way of also justifying, like, 
for her to protect her own self, like for whatever abandonment and, and, and love, love issues with right. issues with men, issues with love, issues with whatever that she's had. Um, well, maybe we can build that into the script a little bit more is to show the road that she's gone on to get the promotion that she's had. Totally. Because, you know, as a woman, she's had to work double hard. And right. And it's like the only woman in the office. Like, it, right. She's had to work extra, extra hard. Right. And in a system that she shouldn't even be in. Right. Like, I mean, she likes being a cop or whatever, but like with that good old boy system, she shouldn't be adding to it or anything right but, right so her excuse is even if she's uncomfortable with how maybe certain things have been handled you know she's working hard so you know it's gonna it's got to be worth it or otherwise, right what am i working for exactly and it's like her way of it's her way of showing her girlfriend she loves her by you know working really hard and getting this promotion it's almost yeah. like you know that's really her that's just her, her, like her way of living. And it could, and it's, and it comes from, it could, it was instilled in her, you know, from a very young age that, you know, like her dad <clears throat> probably maybe was an alcoholic, maybe was whatever, but he worked hard. So he, well, that's kind of the thing about that old school style is that they were so work obsessed. Right. Like, that there was nothing that it, their career is their personality right like, and that, and that's and very patriarchy that's the very, the less unhealthy. sleep you get and the more overtime you work the yeah. better of a person you are for yeah, some somehow. reason and that's very old school <laughs> and since she since she likes history or at yeah least the, the she likes the nostalgia of of old right times. right um and, you know, obviously, the only reason she likes that is because it was simpler to her. Um, yeah. Maybe she's forgot. I mean, obviously, that's kind of what the brother character is saying is you've just forgotten all of the terrible stuff. Like, right, the, right. The only reason you like the past is because you have fond memories, but you're forgetting all the bad memories. You know? Right. You're and not you're not actually. Like yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but she's choosing to in a way. She's choosing yeah, to, sure. own, you know only remember the good stuff that's why and she I, says so you being a cynic be, doesn't change reality it might be kind of interesting if it could go it, it'd be interesting both ways maybe um she's working really hard to support her girlfriend who's you know a musician in a small right. town you know whatever yeah um, a gig worker <laughs> Yeah, a gig worker. So that might be kind of interesting because there's extra, extra pressure on her. And totally. also she's trying to be part of the patriarchy, even though she's a woman. She's like, well, you know. I, right. I got, you know, but yeah. she's, yeah, I think in a way, since she is like her brother is younger than her, she kind of has like this, like, um, is the dad, the, where is, is the dad dead? Yeah, or gone or something. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, really I think like maybe dad died she kind of became the man of the house yeah, for sure. um and she kind of has this like it's not it's it's not the like uh it's not necessarily like the maternal like energy it's more of like the like if that even is i don't know what yeah, you know, know we're, what saying, you know what the i classic, mean the classic definitions of that yeah 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 and it She's, could be that she doesn't she was here's some real heavy she could not be comfortable with expressing herself like she could be the type that doesn't say i love you because she shows that you know in her mind exactly she's it through the work ethic but right in reality it's just she's uncomfortable with her deeper emotions yeah so she just works and works and works and then obviously and she has fun and stuff yeah 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 and there could be something there or it could be the opposite and I don't know if this is more powerful or not, but it could be that Hale is actually successful and independent and, uh, you know, kind totally. of butting against what, sh what, what Deb thinks the system is. Right. Uh, I don't right. Know, it could be either one. Both are interesting. Right. Yeah. No, yeah, it could go, it, it could go either way. And then there's all the stuff with their mom too. Like what the mm -hmm. fuck is the deal with, with Lucille and all her, like, you know, uh 
she's obviously not there. Like she's yeah. obviously, ha- you know, got some some of the. Well, like, there's a lot of uh, trauma in her. So this the character of Lucille is kind of based on my girlfriend's mother. Okay. Um, who uh, back in the early days it was I have a slew of children, and I don't. <laughs> I'm not like emotionally or yep. physically able, just time wise. Right. Able to, I can't do have a job, so I got to hook up with whatever guy will show up. Not hook up, but like. But yeah, yeah, whatever yeah. Whatever guy will show up. Right. And, and say that they'll support the family. Um, but a lot of these men were terrible, terrible men. Of course, you know, they yeah. Support the family with money or whatever, but they'd be really manipulative about it, or they'd just be whatever or they would actually support them but they'd just be bad people Um, right and it wasn't until later um after um after they like got out of that situation um and the the my girlfriend actually had to step up and she has one older brother that was okay and that's kind of what dan is okay uh, based on he but he's an older brother but anyway gotcha Um, yeah 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 but but yeah she had to be essentially the caretaker of the youngest her younger brothers mm. um, and uh it wasn't until they all started becoming adults that it allowed the mother to really look at her what her life had become and only recently is the mother like oh yeah that was terribly <laughs> abusive and unhealthy and like you know, yeah, I'm sorry that's I what, through that, you know, and all this stuff. Uh, yeah, at least she's recognizing it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. But it, you know, she's a that's still, yeah. She's a young boomer, so like it, it it has taken her entire life to yeah. really even start to think about these things. Um so yeah, there's kind yeah. of that like it wasn't until they became an adult that it could be maybe the kids got out of that situation somehow. Um, like Deb and Deb and Dan. Yeah. They got out of the situation, didn't talk to their mother. Right. Their mother was still with her father or something. Yeah. Like, with the father character, maybe it's the stepfather or something. I know. I was going to say maybe it's Dan's biological father, but not okay. uh, yeah. Deb's. That'd be, interesting. That'd be an interesting dynamic. Yeah. Um, but they got out of it. And then, right. They're like, sorry, mom, you you got to deal like, with all. I'm I I can't. I don't have the bandwidth to deal with all your stuff. Yeah, we gotta support our own because at the end of the day, you know, we're trying right. to have a life. Right. Um, like Deb started was, working. Deb started working at a young age, working hard like yeah, she exactly. was to support her and her brother. Like maybe she got him out, and when he was still yeah. like a minor, but she was an adult and. Right she like raised like supported him you know and, and, and so, you know and they they probably had a great time together but that's no that's not uh, no <laughs> that's kids. total kids yeah that's parentification kids. it's literal like it's literally abuse technically yeah. i mean it's like it's yeah yeah it's not okay <laughs> to do to a person so it um, could be like dan is the first one to acknowledge like yeah, I mean, we had fun. To, I'm grateful of the fact that right. we got out of that situation and that we had, we were there for We a survived, time. yeah. But we shouldn't have had to do that. You didn't have a childhood, you know? She's, right. He's really fighting her battles. Yeah. Um, because she refuses to. Right. Um, And then, yeah, so the at some point, maybe in there, the, the stepfather either left or died or something. Right. And she's been, you know because she's had so much trauma, the mother character, Lucille, has had yeah. so much trauma and maybe so much, uh, maybe actual abuse that it's it's just worn her down for so long that the dementia is starting to set in. And yep. you know, she's been single for, you know, who knows how long. Um, probably that's, probably they went off and lived on their own. Stepfather eventually, maybe a decade later or something, died or died whatever. yeah there were a few years there where she tried to do make it on her own and then the kids started coming back because yeah father, he's gone the father wasn't there and then they were like oh this is really sad right how she is right but like her mental uh faculty is has had deteriorated by that point and now it's just even worse 
Right. But she means well. Like, she's, you know, and she doesn't... That's probably really frustrating for Dan, too, is that he has all this stuff to say to her. But now it's... it's what It, what it won't goes, land. Yeah. She can't remember it. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's funny because, like, I wrote all these characters and all these dynamics, and I, I didn't even really think about the depth of them. Yeah. So, but it's, yeah, that's what happens this when you is... talk out. This is why we do this. Oh, I love Dr. Pepper, the strawberry Dr. Pepper. I have a bunch of it in my fridge right now. Hey guys, Cameron here again. Um, if y'all are enjoying this, make sure and subscribe, share the video, donate so that we can make this movie. And uh, I don't know, we gotta feed the algorithm. It's like if you, if, if you take a woman's rights away in the forest and no one is around to stop you are you still a serial killer yeah yeah you're still a terrible person but anyway uh <laughs> that was a sloppy analogy okay serious time this is a serious movie it really is a very very serious movie maybe that's why i'm being so goofy um yeah so if we need all the help we can get to make this thing to make this thing, uh, to f get this this message out, and also like get our careers going in the artistic way that we would like to them to be. So, um, thanks, guys. Help us network. Help us make this movie. Uh, share, subscribe, like. I don't know. All this algorithm feeding is disingenuous, but it's the only way we can get stuff done. So, appreciate it, guys. It's healthy. It's, it's got fruit, isn't it? Yes, yes, it has fruit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm a Dr. Pepper boy. True and true. Uh, yeah, so are we. We have, we have strawberry Dr. Pepper, Dr. Pepper cream soda, and... Uh, uh, Dr. Pepper Cherry in our fridge right now. Oh, wow. It was buy two, get three free at the grocery store. Listen, I don't know if Dr. Pepper's paying any attention to this, but if they, they might do be. It, I have no qualms with Dr. Pepper. They haven't tried to poison us. They haven't. No. I mean, besides... they're just dark. They're just, they're just a delicious soda and a nice treat. Yeah. Store Texas drink. That's right. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, yeah, okay, so okay. Uh, where we are is uh, there's the scary barn scene, um, and I thought it would be even kind of creepier. We can we can really add the tension up to that scene. Like, yeah. She's looking down at, the, at her girlfriend over in the corner. The corner yes. Over, she's looking over her shoulder, you know, she's just vibes. Totally. Um, I even thought that that might... could have the seven seven kind of action sequence vibes totally. right there. Yeah, totally. Um, so there's a couple of ways we can go with this. Uh, I want things to really start kicking off. Like, I want it to be one of those movies that like everything's set up. So we might have we'll have to go back to Act One and like build in even more stuff. But uh, yeah, I swear I'm not picking my nose. I have I have no, some dude. nose hair. <laughs> I my nose here and it's just tickling. No, you're good. Any hoots. Um, so, like, you know, you're sitting there and it's a really interesting world. And then when it kicks off, it really kicks off. Not, not right. necessarily action, 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 but like the plot really Ex gets deeper and she gets, she just, it just. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I feel like, <clears throat> I feel like a lot of it. I mean, we're, it's already, from the very get-go, setting the tone for, mm -hmm. uh, just in the way that the, in the way that her co-workers are talking to her, treating her, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, um, not, not, and not in a, and not in a way of like, oh, I see where this is going, but just like, mm -hmm. we are sort of establishing that things 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 are gonna get weird because yeah. we can't the, cause, <laughs> <laughs> because soon, well yeah as soon as she starts sticking up for herself or just right. noticing things right 
she's like, oh, this culture is kind of weird here. Yeah. You know, and maybe that's how, once she start her eyes start opening, that's her, her journey is, oh, that's, that's a little weird. Right. I wouldn't have clocked that before, but that is a little weird. And then by the end of it, she's like, you guys, I got to burn this place down. Right. You guys are all. This is all fucked. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, (laughs) Yeah. I think that, I think that is good. Um, I'm, it's interesting because we're kind of working two parallel stories. There's the patriarchy story, right. and then there's the actual crime story. Exactly. Um, That's the so other I thing. Thinking, yeah. It might be kind of cool, as far as following the patriarchy path, is that you know maybe she gets spooked and falls down the ladder, down the steps of the barn or whatever. Second story to first story. She twists her ankle at, at the bottom floor. Uh-huh. Um, and you know she there's adrenaline, so she doesn't really notice it until later. Uh, but the following day, maybe she's limping or something. Uh, the following day, she goes to maybe not the ER, but maybe there's like a there's some doctor, or, you know, something nearby. Actually, you know what's funny? Uh uh-huh. In Waller, the town I live in. Yeah. And I don't think we'd get away with filming it here, but it would be kind of cool. Um. Literally, the police department is in like a strip center, uh, and, <laughs> and next door to the police department is like a family medical center. Oh, how funny! So it would be kind of funny. She goes to work, uh, yeah, and then she's like, "Oh man, my my ankle is really killing yeah. me." Yeah, and then she just walks over next door, next door like, to hey, the could you, hey doc, could you right? Do this? Um, anyway. Uh, what ends up happening is That's funny. wherever she goes, what ends up happening is she gets a male doctor, of course. He's like, oh, it's not that bad. She's like, oh, He's like, wiggle what's... your toes. Oh, you're yeah. good. What's, what's the pain scale? And she's like, uh, I mean, it's like a seven. And he's like, are you sure? It's like, oh, it's probably like a four or something. No guess. Right. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. As bad as it is. He's like, all right, well, I don't know. Keep off it for like a day, and you know if it's still bad by the end of by Monday. Yeah, maybe he's even going out of town. Maybe he's got like a golf trip or something. He's like, oh, yeah. If it's bad by the time I get back, you know, we'll follow we'll put a boot back. on it. Yeah. yeah. Um, but what what ends up happening is because she does have to work harder to prove herself, and she's also new at the job, so she really, really wants to prove herself. Um, she's like, yeah, I gotta stay off it for like a day, so she does, and then the job is like, you know, the toxic masculinity doesn't listen to that, and on top of that, she's a woman, right? Um, they're like, we need you back out there, man. Like, I know that you got this thing, but it's not that bad. We've all worked with injuries. You know? Yeah. Oh yeah. So it's over here, <laughs> you know, hobble around on a whatever. I don't know. Yeah. And they make, and that would be interesting. Is like they all jovially make fun of each other for working with all these injuries that are actually debilitating. Right. You know? Right. Uh, and they always complain like, about, oh, I'm falling apart. <laughs> yeah. Which is, you know, it's unhealthy in its own mind. But, uh, yeah, that'd be kind of interesting. But anyway. But, it, but yeah, it's so also I part of the culture. Like, that is so accurate. It might be kind of cool that, um, cool for our story, not in real life. Right. But that, uh, because of this injury, it, it's just like a cataclysm of, uh, or a domino effect. Like it right. builds, and builds, not just the injury, but that leads to, uh, she can't do the job as well. So some, you know, she right. starts, some start some things fall through the weeds, and then she gets in trouble at work, and then you know all this, all this. And stuff it's like if he would have just put, if he would have just put her in a boot like that day, right. and like fixed her foot that day, she would have been able. <laughs> listen to her right like there's so many things that yeah yeah right that kind of thing so that might be kind of a nice start of like going down the path of literally now the patriarchy is really having a a physical effect on her actual i mean it does regularly but yeah but like in the story yeah um so there, there's that. I'm trying to think of what the next scene would be because I do want it to really start kicking off. Um, yeah. And I, I thought, it, okay, so she finds the cigar, right? 
I At haven't end... decided if and this could be interesting in one of two ways is that it was it is the guy that kidnapped the girl that was in there masturbating and drinking some milk yeah uh, to uh <laughs> and smoking uh you and know, that's, smoking. that's his barn or whatever yeah um, i'm cute because like i feel like if she so she clocks that that's the same cigar that she found at the beginning um and it's unusual because the town the people of the town wouldn't be able to afford those kinds of cigars anyway so it's got to be like something there's something. someone from some other area yeah um or someone of wealth or you know that right just, anyway um at some point what it is is she's gonna be able to track that these cigars come from the uh men's club that right that's just this that's just what they smoke because they're all they they just buy yeah. them because they think they're fancy and you know whatever right um and that's why the smoke shop guy was being cagey about it. And anyway, uh, the first yeah. one, the first little snub that she finds at the the actual crime scene, it's been rained on. It's there. You're not going to be able to recover any evidence to it. Um, right. This new one, and that's where it gets a little tricky as far as setting up this case, is that um, if it is the bad guy, the main like bad guy uh -huh. she could take that to like forensics and if it only takes a couple of weeks when i don't know how long forensics would take yeah um, she could run dna on that thing and be like oh that's the guy <clears throat> but at the same time true she's also trespassing like there's nothing illegal about a guy uh you know yanking it in his barn and true you know, like, there's no that's circumstantial you know that's not right uh, everything she has is circumstantial and that's kind of the classic um you, you know, can't use this and in... right yeah so um but it would be more interesting if she somehow is able to realize start going down the path that uh of the of the men's rights group uh -huh. she realizes that this is the cigar that they all smoke right or maybe before the men's right she somehow connects cigar these cigars to several different people in the community and these people are connected by that cigar aka the patriarchy but you wouldn't or the men's rights group yeah 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 but they're so far apart in real like it's the mayor it's this mechanic guy it's yeah this, this guy that owns the farm or something like these people would right. never meet in real life you would assume right. um so that's when she starts to really put together that oh maybe that there's a conspiracy maybe they're all in on it together right um, and then she realizes, oh yeah, I mean that's the men's that's the men's rights group. Uh, but yeah, so I don't know what the next yeah what the next thing would be. And also, I thought it would be kind of interesting if the mother of the hold on, I gotta put my blankets in the dryer. Oh yes. Um, I thought it might. Is it still on spin? Is this open? Yes. Um. If the mother character, let me see if I can set this down here. Oh, yes. Okay. If the mother character, this is a dynamic shot. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> that yes, yes. Perfect. Um, if the mother character of the girl who goes missing uh -huh. is, uh, comes back and she's like full on in like what the they used to say is like hysterics right because, right um maybe something triggers that like maybe maybe somehow the daughter gets a message out or something but regardless she comes back and even deb is like oh this woman like she's <laughs> right but in reality, is she on her period? Along. What's the yeah? <laughs> she's just further along, realizing that it's all these men screwing her over. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, yeah, because they're like, because they're like laughing and shit while she's yeah. like, yeah. 
eventually um, Deb can can get there. Like once she realizes all these things are happening, then she'll come in and scream in just like the woman that she was yeah like, making fun of. Maybe not making fun of, but totally like, when yeah. She first meets her. The woman's concerned, but she's not like breaking stuff. She's frustrated. It's yeah. But then at some point, maybe she does come back. And she, we don't have to do this. Maybe that doesn't look good. But maybe she comes back and she is wanting to break stuff. She is, all the men are just like, oh, she, oh, you're just, you're, you're not making your case for you. you know? you're, yeah. Like, yeah. Maybe there's something with that. Um, yeah. I like, I, in reality, she, the uh Deb would probably be like, Okay, I wanna grab this cigar, uh hightail it out of here, and then send this to forensics because uh Right, know, there's saliva it, and yeah. Saliva or whatever. Um and if that's the case, we can we have to we'd have to research and figure out how quickly in these days of course it's still a small town, but um, yeah, they, they definitely don't have a lab at their office. They would have to send it out. What if, what what if she brings it back to the office to try to to get forensics done on it, and the men around her won't like they won't approve. Like I know she's the lieutenant, but right. there's somebody else who's like in forensics has to like, and maybe there's some excuse they make as to why. Yeah, maybe there's other things that are ahead of her in line. Something or... or she gives it to them and they just they keep telling her it's not ready yet it's not ready yet yeah. it's not ready yet and she comes keeps coming back and going look I know how long this is supposed to take like you gotta tell me yeah well what would be kind of cool about that is we could we could put something in like there's a minor crime like I like I kind of I thought it would be good and it's also relevant um, if all the men are dealing with this other crime stealing of the catalytic converters right um they're all focused on that while she's actually doing like actual uh, case work here right um so maybe maybe i put that further earlier in the movie like oh yeah we got to focus on this other thing uh-huh um, and oh yeah we just found some evidence that might link these you know crackheads so right we send that to forensics that takes priority right like um, yeah and maybe yeah, like, a little bit more nefarious than just catalytic converters. Maybe there's actual drugs involved or something. Something that would actually get them like, oh, we gotta really, we gotta really push this through forensics to like. You know, yeah. It was just like some crackheads or something that were stealing car parts. They wouldn't do like a full. Yeah. They care that much, because they don't care that much. Uh, right. But if it were something a little bit more nefarious involved. Either way, either yeah, way, yeah. Some excuse as to why this is this is paramount that we take care of this, and forensics is backed up. So you know we got to get that out before we do this this circumstantial cigar thing. Whatever. Right, and they keep probably gaslighting her about the cigar too. Like it's a cigar. Like it could right. be a, like it probably has nothing to do with you know so and so smokes. You know whatever you think he did it. <laughs> yeah. Like you know. Yeah, that wouldn't be bad. You think you think Bill Clinton did this? You know, right. Bad. Yeah. Like they keep making jokes about the cigar and like just making her look feel try to make her feel crazy for right. wanting to test the cigar for anything. That'd be interesting. Yeah. And then at the end of it, and it could be like. What if they said like you know I found a fast I found a McDonald's cup like the, like yeah, they say do sure. you want to test all this other trash that's right. laying around you know the same the scene you want that you know would be, that would actually be kind of interesting like they're all hanging out in the um in the chief's office or whatever yeah and it's playful so maybe at the beginning it starts out yes yeah, she's joking along and you know whatever, yeah that's what she's used to but that could very easily you know they're picking up trash and tossing at her tossing it at her totally that would very quickly turn like this is not funny anymore this is just right cruel right you know, like okay me. fuck you buddy yeah yeah, you're just yeah. Bullying her. 
So right. Could, she's, she, that could be the first incident that like really starts switches for her. her. Yeah. Like you got you guys are being unnecessarily like mean. like one of them picks up a McDonald's or a fast food cup and like throws it at her. It's like here, right. test that or something yeah. like that. Yeah, and like, oh, she's I'm, like, like "Okay, yeah, you want this? All right, test this." You know, yeah, that's forensics too, right? And it wouldn't. It would have to be a little more. They're not like dumping coffee on her. Sure, sure, things. sure. No, but it is. It's disrespectful. Very it's very disrespectful, right? And, and and she clocks it. It's like the first time she really is like, "That didn't sit right with me." I know I'm not crazy. And maybe that's a good excuse for Mark to like come around and help pick up the things. And yeah, 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 yeah try and bond with her a little bit right for his own nefarious reasons totally well not nefarious but you know no but his his <laughs> his own agenda his own agenda for sure <laughs> uh, yeah that would be really interesting <clears throat> and i think that would get the heart pumping too that'd be kind of yeah. cool because huh. then you also see, like, why are these guys, like, they're, they're hiding something. Yeah, why are they being so dramatic about this? Right. Why is this right. such a big deal to, mm -hmm. like, you know, why, why are they, and, and, and they seem to have something against her at, at, about it. Like, it's. Right. Maybe, what if it's, um. What if the chief is kind of laying back, he's just letting the boys be boys, whatever. Um, at the end of it, she's like, uh, chief is like, all right, all right, fellas, come on in. And, you know, and then, yeah. Like, all right, I'll take care of it for you. She's like, oh, thank God. Yeah. Later in the movie, she's in the chief's office or whatever, and she notices that it's just the cigar sitting, sitting there. there. Yeah. And like, she has it, he hasn't done a dang thing with it. Right. So, like, even though he seems like the good guy, like, oh, these are, you know, he's obviously. He's uh, playing obviously. both sides. Yeah. He's. Yeah. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, okay. But so if that happens with the cigar, then that's the only evidence that she has linking everything. But she does know the brand of it and everything. But what else could happen that's exciting so she goes back maybe we do the thing with she goes to the family doctor gets her foot checked um yeah but that's kind of like a b plot thing uh because the very next thing that would be happening is she wants to file this cigar away to evidence or to forensics both of them actually the original one and this new one yeah um and so that happens but then she's left with like nothing. What else is there for her to go investigate? <laughs> like, uh... yeah. Well, somehow we. Well, we did. We you know her get going into the men's club is the or getting in. You know, goal. that's well, the end goal. So what? Like, well, what does she know? She knows that the bar. Well, okay. So the chief said, "Oh yeah, the barn burned down. Got whatever the other guy. Yeah, burned down. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's what happened." Yeah. Um, and then she sees it, and it's totally not burned down. Not it's burned weird, down. But it's not burned down. So that's a little suspicious. And, of course, she found the um, the cigar there uh, and some sketchy something. <laughs> right. So does she try and figure out who owns the barn? Or, like, does she try and investigate a little bit about, is she even allowed to? Because that's private property. I don't know. Well, they the, know who is it just the barn. A, right? Because the chief was like, "Yeah, it's the McClintock family or whatever I called it." Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um. So, is it just a barn? Like, there's no like house. It's just a there's, barn. Well, it's, yeah, it's a barn at the end of a field. Of, the house is probably at the other side of the pasture or whatever. You know, however big, you know. However that works. There might be a house next door to it. I don't know. So maybe she goes and knocks on the house on the door or something. But it's just a friendly chat, you know. Yeah. It needs... I In my mind, I was envisioning it. Because that's where the girls are going to end up being. At, right. Like, later. Um, 
So, I imagined it like it's just some family land that that family has. <laughs> like, it's right. not an active barn or anything. It's just been there forever. Right. Um, so nobody goes and visits it. Like, they don't store crop in it. There's no cows or anything. It's just something that is a, it's a just building. There. It's just there. Um, so, yeah, she... Or, so that's where it's the ideal location to keep these girls. Unfortunately, or actually, I thought it would be actually kind of cool. So that the night that she goes there, she, the girls are already there. It's just dark and it's spooky and she's drunk. So she doesn't actually do a notice. Full look, yeah. So she doesn't actually notice. Um, and I thought it might be kind of extra, extra spooky if, uh, you know, they leave the barn and we kind of pan over and then there's like a, a like a heart monitor thing, mm -hmm. like beeping mm -hmm. like somewhere in the recesses, like some be behind some hay or something. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Because what the guy is doing, he's, he's sedating all the women and impregnating them and like, uh, right. And like milking so them. Like yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we don't show that, but it's like we get right. over, and then there's, you know, the the heart. Model. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that too? That's pretty creepy. Is it's it pretty... too? Like obviously, that's the audience would say, "Well, that's where the girls are." Um. Right. I don't know if it's. Because you can take it a couple of ways. Either that's powerful to go ahead and say that, and then the story becomes about getting how to get back there, and, right? But it's also like the story is how does she find out that the girls are in that barn? Um, yeah. Because in her mind, she's already she already scoped the place. Like she there's she didn't find anything except for the the guy whacking it, um, or the girls haven't been there and that's they'll show up later. I don't know. Yeah, that's I gotta chew on that one because ultimately Cause I think it would be really powerful and intensely creepy if she in hindsight she's like, Oh, I was making out with my girlfriend yeah. And women were were I didn't even pay attention because I wasn't <clears throat> but the girls were there the whole time. You know, if only I had well really if only the cigar guy had told me yeah know, where where to find then um <clears throat> right. Or if the if the police chief hadn't been so sketchy about the about the barn in the first place, she wouldn't have felt the inkling to go investigate. Right, right. Is he... I gotta go let my horse out real quick. Okay. Um, so I don't know which one would be more powerful. It would certainly cinematically be super creepy to, uh, Oh, yeah, I mean, to pan over and have the, the heart for bar. sure, yeah. And then the audience has something ahead of. Oh, let me set this down. Oops. Okay. Is that gonna stay there? No. Come on, girl. Baby girl. <laughs> okay. Uh. So yeah, but overall, she has to wind up in this men's rights activist group. Right. And especially if we're starting to feather in moments where she's really like, well, that was unnecessarily mean, like them throwing trash at her. Right. Um, lots of little things. By the time she gets to the men's rights activist group, she's so close to turning on all men. That, for sure. For sure. Uh, and I like the idea that somehow she's able to use, so, okay, so yeah, she, so maybe forensics doesn't get submitted, so she, 
She's like, well, what else do I have to go on? I know the brand of this cigar. Uh Uh-huh. And I don't really like, I like clues that lead to other clues. So I don't really want to rest on this cigar clue. Uh, Only the cigar, yeah. Um, Maybe there's... um, How did the pieces start falling into place? Um... Because, like, to f- make it feel like a conspiracy, she has to start connecting all these people that are seemingly unconnected, save for this one thing that she finds. Right. As I'm sure you're aware, Reagan and I fifth faff around. It's the ADHD in us. Um, but we're artists, you know, what are you going to do? Uh I qualify everything with an answer, with a sub answer, and uh, I apologize for that. It probably gets annoying to people. Uh, but if you would like to hear me shut up, please donate. Links in the description, captcha everywhere. All the money goes to uh, the camera, the lens is over here. All the money goes to funding the movie. I don't know exactly how much we need. I'm shooting for 50 grand so we can pay people, fly them out from California where they're living their lives in Hollywood. Um, We want to be as transparent and open as we can. Hopefully this will be a regular series. The more money we get, the more we can do this like weekly and, you know, ideally interview some people that are actually involved doing the legwork that um, we're we're just making movies about. So, uh, yeah. Thanks, guys. Feed that algorithm. Give us some money if you can, because I certainly can't afford to do this. It it takes a village to get a message out to make real change, which is what art is supposed to do. So, uh, thanks, y'all. So, in a small town, how would she be finding out information that might connect... What's a clue that she could use? Maybe. Maybe we plant something that is a bit of information that she can take to one of the housewives. uh, And then she can get a glimpse into that life and that kind of Uh uh, classic housewife mindset. Uh Uh-huh. And then she asks some questions, and then the information she gets from that person, not only does she learn a little bit about patriarchy, Uh, but also, you know, she gets information that leads her to connect all these... The men. The men. Some some men. Right. And she's not sure how it connects to the cigar back in the barn, but there's something there. Maybe it's something that, that, that the mom who comes in says like maybe we write something into something she says so after the cigar doesn't work she's like fuck what do i do what do i do and then she starts trying to go remember back over her conversation with the mom and then she thinks of whatever that is well there she does say to the mom yeah i'll keep you updated like all right that's yeah 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 maybe she could be like well the only thing that I have to this, I need. It's time for me to give her. A Go call back to and, yeah and let her know let what her I know found. So yeah, maybe she calls her and says, "Look, all I've all I found is I found a cigar. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Like I'm, I sent it to forensics. Like she's really trying to like keep her updated and and maybe she's like a cigar. Oh well, and then she says something <laughs> just I like that. <laughs> And so she maybe goes to have a visit with her, another talk with her, and she gives her some information, and then that takes her to mm-hmm. this connection. Yeah, that should, I think that whatever happens, it should open up this essentially can of worms. Yes. And she's like, oh, okay, this is much bigger than I thought it would be. So I got to I gotta connect this thing, I got to connect this thing, I got to connect this thing. Um. But what is that thing? <laughs> I'm not sure. Like it, like what is a realistic? That's a tricky one. 
Because these are teenage girls. Yeah, they're teen, maybe in their early twenties, but you know, it's it's spring break. Woo. Okay, because then the waiting for her to turn eighteen line wouldn't work. Well, well, no, because she has turned eighteen. That's why the oh. guy is hot to trot to cover the case, and then gotcha. uh, Deb is like, "Well, I, I, that makes okay. me uncomfortable." Okay, I'll, I'll take care of it. She's begrudgingly taking care of it because she doesn't want this creep. To yeah, work. I think them being 18 would work because they're old enough to where they they could yeah. go on a trip by themselves. Yeah. Uh, but they're also still kids, pretty much. You know what? There's three girls. Like, There's parents. Want... Yeah, maybe she goes and asks, like, are you concerned about your kid? Ah, yeah. To like, other obviously parents. Obviously, this one woman is, but the the what about the other parents? Yeah. So maybe she finds some information. <coughs> maybe one of the fathers is in the group, is in the men's rights group. So she goes to uh, ask mm. them one of the questions, and she sees like on the guy's desk is the cigar um and mm. that's maybe what if that's how she the the creep <clears throat> found out that these girls are 18 and are about to go out of town because he's ah. a town and at first we could use that as sort of the diversion where first people think oh it's this guy's dad it's him definitely but then it's not him it's this other yeah, yeah. well yeah we think it's him oh wait no we think it's this whole group Right. Yeah. Maybe that could be interesting. So she starts asking questions to him. Maybe she goes. For maybe she go. Maybe she ties the talk with the, the same mom again. Tells her what she figured out, and then she's like, she tells her that she's been. She's really frustrated now because she's been trying to talk to the other moms. Uh huh. And maybe she says this one mom is just not being very cooperative and just mm -hmm. like uh, almost like just being closed off, but she wants to ask her questions and she thinks she might know more than the other moms for whatever reason, but she's not being yeah. very forthcoming. And yeah. so she goes to her house to be like, Hey, your kid's missing. Why are you not like talking to it's these the other typical, parents? It's the typical, like, Oh, I just vote for how, whoever my husband tells me to vote for, you know, that right. kind of Right. Kind of mind. Exactly. So maybe she's just like, I, you know, we figure everything's okay. There, you know, they, they, she told us that, you know, they were going to. She's a good Christian girl. Yeah. Maybe they say like, they told us they were going to disconnect from their electronics and, and really like, you know, be, live in the moment and all this stuff, whatever. Yeah, they Deb's like, all right, I mean, I guess so. Yeah, sure. Yeah. That does explain it, but. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. And, and she sees the cigar clocks that. Mm -hmm. and, okay. So maybe there's that. So that's something. Um, so maybe the the real thing that really connects makes it bigger is the thing that she finds out about the third rental unit. Yeah. Um, maybe they're absent or they're like there's something something there that is a little suspicious. Yeah. I don't know what that could be though. Or it leads to something bigger. <laughs> It could just be that every time she goes to one of these girls' uh, parents, there's even though the family units are completely different, like maybe one of the girls is, you know, it's the car dealership dealer, whatever, and yeah. the other one's the, I don't know, owns a restaurant or something. They're not right. connected, but every time she goes there, the cigar's there at the dad's. You know, that would be a good that that might be a good little like just kind of thing where she's like I talked to this expert and he told me they don't even sell this kind of cigar in this yeah, town. Yeah. But yet all of these guys have this cigar that I've seen. Right. That's weird. 
and it's also expensive. Like, and it's you, also very ex and and these aren't like wealthy people, right? That could be interesting. Maybe she brings it up finally at the third parent's house or yeah. something, and she finally just says, "Oh, such is such." Uh, what if? Okay, second second girl is that it's the housewife who does it, you know, oh, whatever. She doesn't even meet the, she doesn't even meet the husband, but she's yeah. by the office, sees the cigar there. She's like, oh, okay. Uh -huh. um, goes to the third person, and the only person there is the father, and the father is, a, is like low-class, sketchy guy. Yeah, piece of shit. Yeah. Um, like, almost... He's the he's the he's not hiding his misogyny. Whatsoever. He is the misogynist. <laughs> he's, he's exactly what you would expect this movie to actually be about. Right. Um. And he's smoking that cigar. Like, like interface. He legit, legit answers the door smoking the cigar because he's kind of an. Idiot. That's that, that would be like a nice like third like boom in your face kind of thing. Yeah. With the cigar. Especially because by then we're already suspicious of this prop. Right. So, like, by the time he shows up and he's just smoking it overtly, and that could be another misdirect as well. Is for sure. Like, oh well, it's this guy. Obviously, it's this guy. <laughs> right. He's got the cigar. Um, he's smoking it. But see, that would also that would that would throw off the whole like forensics thing. Like, it would make her look like maybe I don't even need to have it tested because I just I, like right. it's like how many guys in this town now do I know smoke this cigar? Right. So, well, what is that? Then whatever he says really starts to. Of course, I th still think it'd be too early to really start putting together the men's rights thing. Sure. Um, but, but these people should be shouldn't have anything in common. Other than their daughters all went on a trip together, they go to school together, but the yeah. parents aren't. The parents don't have any. Well, and yeah, they have the cigar. So the only guy that she talks to with the cigar is this sketchy guy so she's like i have to get information out of this guy right so like there's a really tense conversation of like where did that come from and you know and he's smart enough to not like say anything about the group yeah but, you know so maybe there's something or maybe he's maybe he's not an idiot maybe he like leads her down the wrong direction or something yeah yeah. Like he knows enough to protect his his kind. And yeah, and to and to keep her on the, a different path. Mhm. Mm so maybe he maybe he tells her maybe he's a super hardcore dick, but he at least like answers her questions. Mhm. Mm it's more gaslighting stuff like are yeah. you like like, don't be coming around here. I'll fucking tell you where I got this shit. Don't, yeah. you know, you think I'm this? Like, you can go check it out. Go talk to so-and-so. He's very, very anti-authority. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anti-government, anti... He's a January Sixer. Right, right. Of course, they all love cops, supposedly. So. Yeah, but, the, but then they were beating cops on January 6th, so... Yeah. It's, <laughs> that, would it's, be, that would be an interesting dynamic. Like, if he's, like, uh... I mean, it's Texas, man, so he could have a Confederate flag up. He could, totally. He could be sketchy, sketchy, sketch. Right. And I know plenty of guys like that. They're, some of them are my family. Yeah, totally. Me, too. Maybe, maybe he asks... Maybe she asks him, like... Maybe he gives off such bad vibes and, like, he's so, like, she starts asking him, like, about, like, do you know what happened to these girls? Like, are you, like, is this, are, why, like, you know, and he gets really pissed off. Like, maybe it's, like, pretty. One, what's it, what would be interesting about that is, from an audience perspective, you're like, look at her doing her job. She's exactly. Like, she's nailing it. Yeah. She's really, she's <laughs> right. doing her job, you know? Yeah, she is working hard. Yeah, yeah, she's working hard. Yeah. She's totally going at the wrong path. Right, but he's, right. I mean, you know, and maybe he's doing something that is actually kind of illegal, that is kind of sketchy. Um, it's not the main thing that she's looking for, but uh, so she's, he's, he's a little on edge about that. 
Maybe he's the guy who's making the illegal moonshine that all the cops. Yeah, that'd be interesting. <laughs> he's the moonshine guy. Yeah, everyone um, just knows him as the moonshine. The guy. moonshine guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, what would be interesting? Yeah, it's. Yeah. Okay. So then he, if he sends her like. I don't know, because if he, so after this, so this would, the idea of of there being a, a, an alternate path that she starts going down. And, and by this time, the actual group would be alerted to, there's someone poking around trying to find something out. How much information does she give him so so that he says, "Oh yeah, they're checking out about Corey or whatever the guys the incel guy's right. name." And maybe what ends up happening in their world is someone's asking about Corey. I don't know why I settled on the name Corey. It's uh, fine. So, Corey works. Uh, so someone's asking about Corey. And the men's rights activist group, because he he's already a creep and they don't really like him, but he's in there because of his family, they kick him out. And them kicking him out is um, what triggers him to take the the kidnapping to the next level. Ah. He's still by it. The, in his, in, so that's the that's what's happening in the background of all this. Yeah, places. yeah, yeah. Yeah, because he's going around doing stupid shit that's going to get them caught, so he... Or at least looks bad for the club. Right, right. And they know he's doing something stupid. They don't know what it is, but they know it's something. They're not going to ask questions. Right. Until the law enforcement starts showing up. And they're like, well, we'll shut her down so you won't get in trouble, but like, we can't have you creating this chaos. Meanwhile, we're trying to, we're trying to work out a bigger plan here. Yeah. Yeah. You're drawing too much attention to this other thing that we're working on. Right. Whatever that is. Yeah. Do you, is there a chicken in your house? My Shih Tzu is dreaming. Oh. She's <laughs> dreaming she's, that she's a chicken? She's Right there. Yeah. And she's, I don't know if you can see her moving, but she's, uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, she's kicking. She's dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she does sound like a chicken, though. Um, yeah, so. That's pretty good. I, like, I, I want the film in the same way that True Detective does, where it just gets deeper and deeper. Exactly, deeper. exactly. It just like gets, you know, gets further down. I can't wait for this new season to come out. I really want it yeah. to. Yeah, snowy. It's like Fargo, but but spooky. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, spooky Fargo. But yeah, I mean, it's like if it, it, so after, but after she goes to this guy, because if and then everybody would be like, oh, it's definitely this guy. Yeah. <laughs> well, and that could give us an excuse for her to start visiting like the seedy bars and the creepy creepy places that she legit feels uncomfortable in um and yeah you know, it, it is a big misdirect but it it uncovers actually yeah since we're doing kind of parallel stories about patriarchy uh-huh she she starts going in uncovering more of the patriarchy plot line rather than the 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 Other kidnapping side. yeah maybe uh maybe so maybe she just after she talks to this guy and she gets into it with him she's like she already has her mind in her mind fuck this guy i know he did it I and she's it. and she's kind of getting emotional like not emo but like 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 yeah. like yeah, yeah. amped up she about it good. right right so she finds out, like, she... You know what would be kind of interesting is she is visibly getting, like, heated. Yeah. Um, 
because he's been he's like gaslighting her the entire conversation. Right. And then by the end of it, he's like, oh, this is why you can't have women cups. They get so emotional, you know? Exactly. Exactly. He's like, all right, I got she's like, all right, fuck you. Like, I'm yeah. going to. Yeah. So she like maybe she like kind of tracks him and sees where he hangs out. Like he goes to a bar or whatever. Right. And so then later she goes to that bar and like tries to interview some of his friends or like talk to some of the people at the bar about him and that like whatever bar he hangs out with and whatever dudes he hangs out with that's her next like place where she finds out or something else happens with the yeah. men in there um well it, it could be that the white color that's maybe that's the actual men's rights group and the other one's just a country club but the country club fellas are going to use the men's rights groups as totally like, like almost like a militia. Yeah, for sure. One of like, those January six type guys. Yeah, they're hot to trot. They are absolutely. They're the ones with the weapons leaders. and the. <laughs> yeah, like, whatever the country club wants. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So maybe so like, she goes to that bar and she and they end up basically telling her you're in the wrong fucking place. Yeah. And you don't belong here. Well, it, and... could be, it could be, you know, because the, the thing about misogynists is they they understand that women have utility. In sure. Their minds, but not, not this one. She's a mind. lesbian. She's a lesbian. Yeah, that's true. She, they know she doesn't want anything to do with them. And she's these aren't, cop. and these aren't, the, yeah, and she's a cop. And these aren't the kind of guys who are going to entertain some yeah. woman for any fucking reason, unless she's like cooking for him or, you know what I mean? Like if you're in here thinking you're going to do a man's job, you can get the fuck out of here is yeah. pretty much what these guys like. There needs to be, cause we need to see that it, 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 the, the patriarchy, the misogyny, misogynistic, you know, all, all of these things have different levels. levels. Yeah. And there this are is, the men, there are the men that will. Were... Yeah. If this were a movie, this is kind of, I mean, it is a movie about people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But this is kind of what you would expect it to be. Right. Right. But it's only a few scenes. You know? Exactly. It's actually about all of it. Exactly. Know? This is just that level of it when you finally Which meet. Which does exist. The, but, if, absolutely. Because you know, I... Because you best believe that these men and their wives, their wives probably think they are yeah. saying they're in the club too. Yeah. But, but, you know, m meanwhile, they're out here telling this woman, you know, mm -hmm. get the fuck out. You have no business here. Because at first, you know, she knows she's going into a place. When she goes into this place, she knows she's going into a place that, like, it's a boys club. It's you know, it's, it's sketchy. Right, right. She's, she's heard fights and, you know. Could be a strip club. Like sure. They're, they're just oogling women. The right. Whole time. All the if not a strip club, it's all the cocktail waitresses are like. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe because she goes in there and she essentially gets kicked out by yeah. the men, doesn't get any information. So she's like, well, maybe I could talk to one of the waitresses. That's good. And the waitress, uh, she could even be like. Maybe she's not totally on their side or at all. She's just like, yeah, it's just rough. Like, the, essentially, she hasn't been able to get ahead in life because of patriarchy. Maybe she doesn't realize that's what it is. Right. Um, and so she she isn't, like, anti them, but she's not happy to be in there. But she's got bills to pay. You know, she, she never had a leg up and blah, 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 blah. And then that's... Maybe she gets information that leads her to the the country club like yeah like the waitress says something says something that leads her leads them that think that okay they're they're connected somehow or maybe someone from the country club or you know there's something in the works the those guys are planning something yeah. Because that guy, Moonshine, Moonshine guy, Moonshine boy, Moonshine boy Moonshine yeah. is the guy who hangs out at this bar. Yeah. His daughter went on the trip mm -hmm. with 
two other girls. Mm-hmm. Maybe. And so, so, so I didn't, we didn't, we didn't meet the dad of the second one. No. Not yet. Maybe the cocktail waitress is friends with those girls. Maybe the cocktail mm-hmm. waitress is like a young 18 year old girl. Mm-hmm. And she's like, well, you know, uh, maybe she ends up talking about, you know, just the girls and saying like, yeah, I know them, blah, blah, blah. And she mentions like the, that she really w- wants, wanted, maybe she says like, I tried to get a job over at blah, 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 Good. but I couldn't get a job over there. Cause they don't even, they, they, they're so whatever. It's like for whatever reason, either they don't allow well, women could, to work there. It could legit be that she's from the wrong side of the tracks. You right. Know, it's, they don't. That side of town doesn't even listen to someone like me. Right, right. So maybe she's like, yeah, I tried to get a job over at da-da-da because so-and-so's dad works over there, but he wouldn't even, like, it doesn't even help that I'm friends with so-and-so. Like, I'm just yeah. not even. And so she was like, oh, okay. So that's what leads her to go over to the country club. Yeah. Yeah, maybe she wanted to be a cocktail waitress at the country club. Because it pays better, Yeah. yeah. They tip more. They have more money. Duh. Like, you know, maybe she's like, you know, yeah, these guys fucking, you know, it's like, I, I hate doing what I have to do, but if I was gonna, if I was gonna deal with anybody, I'd rather get it for more money over at the country club. Well, it could be. Yeah. It's hard to figure out. Like, cause she, she could even almost have like a, 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 a maternal, yeah when it comes to this girl like she right. would be like oh can't you get into like college or like something? yeah isn't there something yeah and she's like because of the life she's lived almost it would be a really interesting parallel to her own life growing yeah because she she had to stick up for herself and get straight to work sure Maybe that causes her to be a little self-reflective on on the things that Dan was saying. Yeah. Uh, is it like I could have wound up like this woman, this right. poor, poor girl? Yeah. Or maybe I remember being like this poor girl working at like a sketchy place just because I had to. Right. You know, maybe she's got like a young kid. She she got pregnant young, so she's got yeah. like a three year old or something. Right. So she yeah, just does what she has, she to just do. has no choice. Yeah, it's just a really sad story. <laughs> it is, it is, but it's real. Yeah, for sure, it's super real, and like, especially for a young, especially for a teenager woman to get pregnant, if you don't have like a stable life, like no. parent stuff, like there's no helping you. Nope. Nope. Hmm. That could be heavy. That could be really good. And also, it would be interesting because it goes from this really sketchy, like, scary place to kind of like a really empathetic, sad moment with this this reality. And just how there really are just so, there's such a lack of resources for young single mothers, especially in small towns that don't believe in social services and don't believe in uh, any sort of... There's not going to be a Planned Parenthood in town. We don't get no handouts. Like, you know, so... Well, it would be kind of interesting. I don't know if it's interesting or if it's uh, pandering. I'm I'm already invested in this poor girl's... Right. (laughs) And I'm like, okay, well, maybe Deb, now that she has authority at the police... Maybe she can get her like a secretarial job at the police station. Or yeah, something. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Maybe we come back to that. Right, the right. Yeah, maybe, maybe at the end, maybe towards the end, this girl can. Uh... What if? Okay, this is cruel. <laughs> oh no! Are we gonna what? kill the girl? <laughs> no. Not okay. At all. What if she feels bad for her? Sure. But the girl is withholding information. She can uh, tell that she's withholding information. 
So Deb dangles, I can get you a job at the police station to get information oh. out of her. And she's like, yeah, I feel bad for her, but a man's got to do what a man's got to do. You know, that kind of thing. Like, yeah. Like she's, I don't know. Would Deb want to put this young girl around all those guys that she works with? I don't know. I don't know if at that point it. Oh, really yeah. She's really even. Her. Yeah. Uh, but it would be an interesting choice that, you know, <laughs> she's still a little bit playing into the patriarchy system that she's willing to manipulate this this woman to get yeah. answers. And she isn't being forthcoming. So, like, whatever. Yeah. Like, she's not being genuine. She could, and maybe there's some underlying issues there with her own, she's being triggered. So right. she's, she's being a little more combative, not combative, but she's being a little bit more, not as Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and this is all just an idea. It doesn't have to go this way, but uh, so she's like, she's dangling this thing with no real intention of ever following up on it. Right. Um, but like, I might, I'll give you this, you know, I work in administration now, so I could get you a job at the police. We pay 25 bucks an hour if you give me some information. And that's so sketchy as opposed to just being like caring about her. Right. You know, as a human. Right. Which is, which is, which is patriarchy. It's not, they're not caring about women as women. Yeah. Or as humans. Right. It's just like, what can you know. do for me? Maybe that's too cruel. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know that I want to give Deb like a. Like a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, like, I want to I wanna give her, like, a solid... I don't want to give anybody any reason to, like, be like, well, Deb, yeah, sure. just, she did the same fucking thing <laughs> or yeah, something, you sure. know? Because then, cause then we, you'd have people be like, well, Deb treated that girl that way, so obviously yeah. she... I don't know. But I like the idea of the... I like, I like the idea of this girl, le like, like being a sort of a way to help the story like uh like so maybe i don't know i because this girl it's so weird with characters like this sometimes because you don't want to give them too much but you also mm -hmm. want to give them enough to like you know for people to well, not be like, why did you have me get invested all in this person and then not yeah, take true. it anywhere? Well, what what's interesting is because it's a small town, and I like that you're like, yeah, I tried getting a job, uh, but you know, because I know the girl, that's right, missing, right, uh, or that's on vacation or whatever, right. Um, but I her, figured her like dad, her dad knows me, like why? Yeah, what, what, I figured he couldn't happen, right. Um, because maybe she's just bringing that up to, like, explain, like... What if she, that's her in to the country club? Like, applying for a job? Well, oh. I wasn't thinking about that. That might be interesting. Oh. But, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> they all know no, who... Yeah, but yeah. But no, the girl, you know, because she knows the, the girl's dad that's in the country club, she's like... Hey, you know, no worries about me not being able to get a job here. Hey, I know this one person, you know, some yeah. excuse to get her in there. Right. Um, maybe it's still too early, but that way we could give this character some weight. Yeah. And, and import. You know, it's not just one scene that we all get invested in and then she's gone. Exactly. Um, but also it does show that it's a small town. Everybody's connected. Like everybody knows everything about everybody. Right. What happens in small towns exactly um, i'm getting tired of repeating myself but you know what that's how you get these things done uh please like and subscribe for subscribe sub, sub, share subscribe feed the algorithm uh if you can donate 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 so that we can make this movie it's set up to a private paypal all the funds are specifically relegated for this movie um our bank accounts aren't even like attached to it until we until we make enough money so please donate it's a this is kind of a weird way to do crowdfunding but uh with the way that crowdfunding websites are these days it's um you have to pay a lot of money to get those 
and it's it's more than a full-time job just to get those things and we want this to be more organic grassroots um, because it is an important issue and because you guys um, I don't know but that might be kind of cool if you guys can see all of the steps that it takes and uh, the creative process in motion uh, and it's an important story that affects us all so um, please donate if you can pretty please I know I'm not as pretty as Reagan but I try so you know if I have to become a honeypot you know I'm gonna do what I gotta do I can't rack up credit card bills so okay guys uh, enough of this Yeah. And yeah, maybe that's a good excuse for her to be like, I know how, I know how these men are. Like, yeah. it's no different than at the club. They're just, they dress nicer. They just have nicer clothes and yeah. yeah. So she and, goes in there and, and puts on this character that she has to do when she's at the bar. Right. And kind of is like, follow my lead. Yeah. And then kind of like takes her through mm -hmm. the place because she... Yeah. Um, Essentially, she's she's your friend when you went to that country club. She's she's your friend, right? From the time, you know, it's right? That, it's that interaction that you told me about, right? <laughs> right? Exactly. Exactly. Is these two girls? Well, of course, y'all were both ignorant of what it is, but in this right. case, one of them knows how it works because she knows. Yeah. Men. Yeah. Yeah, and I got in. And what's so sad is she's only 18, maybe 19, and she totally knows how these grown men are. Exactly. Yeah. Men that are all, like, obviously they're their dad's age because yeah. one of them is her friend's dad. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, and that's the other thing, too, is that, like, this asshole the moonshine guy. It's like his daughter is missing. Like your kids are missing. Yeah. Yeah. And this is how you're behaving. Like, yeah, he's drinking. He's going about his business. Right. The guy at the country club whose daughter is also missing. Right. He's golfing. Right. Whatever. I mean, they do assume they're just on spring break. Right. Um, but they but, but the fact from the mother, from the mother of the one, the other so. one. Yeah. And that's the thing is that like, <clears throat> that's, 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 that's the other thing that also has like, and that's maybe another thing that Deb is like asking the, the, the cocktail waitress, this girl is like, you know, wouldn't they normally be posting stuff? They wouldn't just yeah. go dark. Like, yeah. and maybe she can say like, yeah, I've been trying to text. I've been trying to reach out to so and so and she hasn't responded to me either and she definitely would like you know so you know like Deb like she needs to be growing more and more like why the fuck aren't these parents yeah like more every time what, I what, what would be interesting is I kind of like that because what would be interesting is all the maybe not every step of the way like the whole time, but at the beginning, while the, while everything's starting to crumble, mm -hmm. she's blaming other things. It's not that it's the men. Exactly. It's, something's going on with these parents, they're affluent or they're, they're right. All the it's just a parental issue. You know? Right. Like that's all right. it is. Or it's just a other kind of issue. And then once it's, yeah. once it dawns on her, oh, it's a, maybe, it's a man. Right, like maybe she tries to connect her own. That's how she kind of goes through back through her own childhood and her own stuff. Is she's trying to connect? Maybe these girls ran away because you know they're because like I disconnected. I went no contact with my family when I was very young. You know, uh, speaking as Deb, you know, I did personally too. But like, um, <laughs> but like maybe that's her thing. Is like maybe these girls said they were going away. And maybe they just did want to yeah. uh, go no con Maybe they're like, geez, like I would want to go no contact. Look at these fucking parents. Like they're not right. even, they don't even give a shit basically. You know, it's like, well, yeah. 
Well, maybe that's not Deb. Maybe that's the cocktail waitress girl. Right. She's like, why? Yeah, of course they are gone. Like, why would they have crappy parents? Why yeah, they... I'd want to get out too. Maybe yeah. that. Maybe that's her thing. It's like I'm kind of jealous. Like I kind of wish I could have. Yeah. Just gotten on a truck and got out of here too. Like, and you that's know. what's that's what's triggering to Deb is because she she was able to do that. Right. Um, whatever that story is, but yeah. So maybe after all that, you know, she's had such like a empathetic moment with this girl. Maybe she goes and maybe after she finds out about the the parents being just whatever, she goes yeah. back to her mom and is like, "Okay, we need to have like a let me ask you about parenting or like yeah. some sort of." you know right moment with her her own where she, that's where she reconciles or like yeah starts to really learn put things together right right like maybe she starts asking her mom like you know because maybe when she left with her and her brother maybe they did just leave and no yeah. one ever looked for her and no one yeah. ever she was expecting like a whole Where'd they go? Where'd she go? Yeah. yeah. And maybe no one ever looked for her. Mm -hmm. And so that's what's kind of got her looking for these girls. Let's see. <laughs> We're just putting, putting piece of all these pieces together. Um, that's and, powerful. For yeah. Sure. Yeah. And so then maybe she goes to her mom and she's like, you know, did you ever yeah. look for me? Did yeah, you ever did you try ever to try? find me? Yeah. And, and it can be powerful, like, she doesn't, because of her mom's mental capability, at first she's not, she doesn't know what she's talking about. Yeah. Or like, you know, it's just a little cloudy. Right. But what happens with people with dementia sometimes. They have moments. It's not exactly yeah. dementia, but it's not, but like she clicks in. Sure. Yeah. And sometimes something will trigger it. Like, and Yeah she's actually able to have like a really powerful moment. With you know her. what happened? You know, well, I don't know how I could put this in the movie. I know we're both music lovers, but like there's, there's I don't there's thing. Yeah. Music. Yeah. So maybe she like hears a song or plays a song or something. And she yeah. is like, you know, hold on. My dog wants on the patio. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Um, but yeah, so it would be cool if it was like, uh, I don't know, maybe that's too cheesy or maybe that's too like, I don't know, yeah, but, but so, there, that could be something, I don't know. Some, something, something that triggers her mom to like, you know, t talk to her about, you know, just a moment of like, you know, some sort of kind of cool moment between her and her mom where she talks to her about her growing up and her childhood and whatever and oh. there's just kind of like a moment of explaining this character and her like not explaining but you know what I mean right. like where you re where you get some some meat to this you know hold on for sure he's come on okay nope come here a little crazy and we can always pepper in and add more things to to make it feel more well because also this this whole thing is only connecting her to the country club right and it's not connecting her to the crime itself but it's exactly tan only tangent to tangential right so like there's got to be you know there's more after that like how does she find out you know that this guy is connected to the you know all that kind of stuff exactly exactly but that's definitely because we have yeah. the because then we have all the stuff on the the birth the film yeah the birthday yeah well so what i was thinking with all that is uh uh okay so I don't know why, but as I was writing it, it it felt more like Hale was the one, the girlfriend was uh -huh. the one that that is getting lost in the film. Um, right. They both are 
enjoying it, but she's the one that's getting disconnected and it's just a little bit more like like yeah. Like I wrapped know, up. And I could change it so that it's Deb. It doesn't really matter that much. But um I don't know why that felt better. Yeah. Almost because you're observing this happen to her. Right. Um, but I don't know. Either way, yeah, the more that all this stressful stuff happens, the more that the film's being played and the more it's getting warped and changed. Yeah. Um, and the guy that... Okay, well, yeah, so the guy that is in the film is is grandpa <clears throat> misogynist. Right. You know, the boy that's having the birthday party is the one that delivered the moonshine at the beginning of the police. Right. He's, I think his name's Steve. Yeah. Um, and Steve is part of the country club. Maybe he's like the president of the whatever, whatever. Yeah. Um, and it's his son that has kidnapped everybody. Right, right, um, right, right. So, like, once she gets into the country club, maybe that's where she meets Steve. And she's... Maybe she realizes, oh, okay, the kid in the video is this guy. Uh-huh. He's like, you know, the... He has all the money in town. He's, he's the real estate. The developer. grand poopa, yeah. Uh, yeah, and he's the grand poopa of of the Elks Club or whatever. Right. And uh, once she sees him there at the country club, she's like, "Oh, hey, I have this movie from your childhood. You want to check it out?" And then that's how she kind of starts getting into that world. Yeah. Maybe something like that. Maybe that's too straightforward. Maybe it should be a little more roundabout. But yeah, but it's an easy connection once once you realize that the guy that kidnapped the girls is the grandson of like yeah that's the, that's his family in the film. Um, it's an easy kind of easy route to take there. So that's not yeah. terrible. Terrible. Um, so it really wouldn't take that much. But I do want to. There's got to be some more clues, you know, that lead her to the crime itself. Uh, but we can figure that out. Yeah. Okay. Right now, it's good to figure out the emotional, emotional arc of the whole story and how what opens her mind to everything. Right, because that sort of takes you. That sort of helps dictate, sort of like because. She, the, the whole thing is, the whole point is her sort of journey to, yeah. like, you know, the realization. The She's grand, getting woke. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's essentially what it is. Um, and I think that Hale, you know, it's like her, her part in all of this is. Uh, well, okay. So there's, this was going to be, okay. Is. This is going to make me sound like a stupid writer. No. Is red herring something that is like a foreshadow or is that taking you down a different path? I can't remember I think, which one that is. I think it's um it's a clue yeah. that is intended like, to be yeah. misleading or distracting. Okay. 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 So that's what I thought. So if that is the case, then um I thought it could be interesting that so she's getting obsessed and she's she's having these conversations with Hale. Like Hale keeps saying, you know, it's kind of funny that it's all the men, you know, blah, 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 blah. blah. Right. She's like, oh, no, that's not what it is. Yeah. Um, so there's real friction there. Right. Um, and on top of that, one of them is obsessed with this film. So they're and they're getting more and more distant. Yes. Um, so at some point. Uh. Like you, you sense that the relationship is straining, right? And at some point, uh, Hale just is gone, right? And okay, Deb yeah. might might just because of the space that she's in assume, oh, she's been kidnapped. She's, she's ah. one of the new girls. In right. reality, it's just that she wasn't. The relationship was ending, right? Like, or at least maybe it didn't have to end, but. Deb was getting obsessed with this thing. Right, like, right. Like, she doesn't have the... Because she doesn't have that emotional core... Yeah. Uh, she doesn't have the language. <clears throat> she really wasn't ever able to fully connect with, with Hale the, in the way that would be right. a healthy relationship. Um, 
but she uh, she assumes oh she's she would never leave my side we're a team and then she's gone because right she wasn't paying any attention right um, yeah that that was kind of my idea for the path because I want yeah. Hale to have her own agency as well you know I'm sure character. yeah and 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 if she like for as for as aware of things as Hale is yeah um. You know, I mean, I don't know how long someone like Hale would even be able to put up with living in a, in a, sure. in a. No, she, she, I mean, maybe there's a voicemail or something that she ends up leaving. That's like, listen, I, I thought it would be a romantic way to settle down and come to like a nice little town. Right. And, you know, it's quiet and whatever, but I, I, you know. Yeah. But like, like beyond, that's it. Beyond two years, that's it's yeah, literally yeah. living inside of toxic masculinity. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like you're just like, and maybe you know, maybe that's I was, like, I was willing to do it for you because I right. thought you could change, but right, you're not you're only going further into it. Right. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Mia is like, like me. Hiya. She, well, I know, like you were perfectly fine, and now she's like wants to play. Yeah, nice little chicken, and now you got a dog. I know. No, come here. Hold on. No, but like it would be, it, in my mind, like if Hale is obviously like you know she gets it, she like knows, but in, and in her mind, yeah, like she's like. The, you know, it's a small town. I thought we could like settle down and. Well, even that is the classic, you know, what women do to men. Right. The yeah. Stereotype of oh, I can change them, I can fix them. Right, right, right. You know, there's a little bit of that, which in right. itself is more patriarchy. Yeah. You know, but... And for Hale, it was probably already like, ah, oh, she's a cop. Like I already right. like you know. But like she's doing her thing and like she's worked really hard and together, you know? yeah and you she, know she can, she's intelligent she <laughs> right could put, she could get there yeah and so she probably you know has justified a lot in her own mind but when it comes down to it and she sees that Deb is so just like not wanting to like get and 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 yeah she's not she it's like willing at this point right right or at some point. And maybe they have a conversation, you know, where Deb says, like, like, hands down, I am not leaving this town. Because maybe, maybe Hale has said, like, let's go somewhere else. Like, let's, let's get out of this, like, place. Like, this is too much. Like, we're, like, going crazy. And, you know, I think we need a better environment, you know. And then maybe Deb does say something like, I'm never leaving this town. Like, this is my... Yeah. Like, these people need me, and, you know, I work this hard to get to where I'm at now, and I'm not just going to up and leave because... Well, that would be that would be a huge thing is, like, she's like, these people need me. Look how hard I work. Right. And then she's like, they wouldn't care if you were... <laughs> no one gives a fuck. You. What are you talking about? Right, exactly. Oh, that would be good. That would be a good moment where she's like, all the guys around you just want to fuck you, and you are, like, you're acting like they need you. Like, are you fucking crazy? No one even wants to talk to you. No one's giving you the time of day. When she could have a little, especially in this moment, she could have a little bit of uh, self grandiosity. Yeah. Um, in that she's like, this, this, I'm doing something important. Totally. And, she, and she's like, you're an administrative, like you're an assistant in a, right. in a police department of a town of 3,000 people. Right. This is not that important. Right, and then and then and then maybe Deb's like, "Oh, that big party you threw me, Miss, like excited for me. You really, this is how you really feel about what I do." Like, okay, and so maybe they do have like this fight, and then when Hale is gone, it is like at first, like at first Deb might think like, "Oh no, they got her," <laughs> but then she could think like, "Oh, like yeah, she actually meant." Because maybe that's Deb's realization of like, oh, people actually mean what they say. Like, yeah. <laughs> like Hale was like, I'm going to fucking go. And Deb was like, you don't mean that. Yeah. <laughs> but then Hale's gone. And, you know, Deb's like, oh, meant she meant that. That wasn't just a, oh, they didn't mean that. So, like, 
if she could mean that, maybe all those guys that are flirting with me, they actually yeah. mean that. Right. That could be good. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's just if we're gonna try and have Deb have all of these realizations and have this journey and grow and learn all of these things, you know, we have to have defining moments sort of where we see these things for sure. sort of happen for her. Yeah, for sure. Um, and I mean, it, and it does need to feel like her life is falling apart, man. Like, yeah, like, like nobody's listening to her. Her girlfriend's gone. She's realizing the stuff about her childhood. And like the only person around that supports her is her brother. And yeah. Even that he's like combative about it. And, and he's got his own shit and he's, yeah. Like, cause, like, yeah, he's got his own stuff. He's kind of a loser. He's right, but he's kind of a loser. He doesn't have a job or whatever. Right. Like, he can't really do anything for her other than. Well, and it could be that he doesn't have the skills to, like, because he grew up being raised by her. Right. He doesn't really have the skills to function as a, an adult. Yeah. Like, he never had that growing up. So yeah. like, it's, a, it's a miracle he's as far as he is, you know, maybe he doesn't, maybe he has like a part-time job or something. <clears throat> right. I picture him like a pizza delivery guy or something. Yeah, for sure. You know, and she's just, and she, she kind of, she kind of enabled him to be that way. Cause she, you know, did take care of him and kind of like never, you know, and there was no, like they're close, you know, in my mind, but yeah. like, there's not like an emotional, yeah. Like She's anytime things get too yeah. deep, yeah. And anything doesn't have that language to right get there. If and and he maybe tries to talk about stuff, but anytime things get too deep, she either makes a joke or or yeah. changes the subject or you know, because that's not her. Like, yeah, she doesn't have time to get emotional about things. She doesn't right. have time to talk about all that stuff. It's like, so all that, all that stuff, all that stuff, you know, all that, all that feelings and stuff, you know, for her, it's yeah. just like, you wake up, you go to work, you get your paycheck and you have fun and you have a good life. You know, it's like, yeah. she's not like a total, I but, like the phrase, all that stuff. Cause she could, he could literally, really be trying to connect to her. Right. And, she, and she's just like, Oh, we, we don't need to talk about all that stuff. Right. Like, it's kind of like what the typical dad, like the typical emotionally unavailable dad would totally. say. Totally. So that's her, that's like kind of, and, and I think that's also like what leads to Hale leaving. And it's not even so much just like, oh, you put up with all this shit. It's like, you're not even emotionally like maybe Hale thought that once they moved in together in this little town, maybe she would yeah. open up more. Maybe she yeah. would, but she's just the same well, that's kind of what I was thinking. It'd be interesting if, if Hale was, she's not like a pop star or anything, but like right. her career is going fine. She can leave if she wants to. Right. Like, <clears throat> and in Hale's mind, like, oh, I'm, or not Hale's mind, in Deb's mind, I'm the, I'm essentially the patriarch of the family. Like I'm, I'm the man in this relationship. Yeah. She, yeah. Yeah. Um, so like so, she's the one with a regular nine to five job, which is what you do. And the parents. insurance so, and the yeah. And insurance. I'm the one with a real job, so right. I can support you. You know, you don't have to. Yeah. You know. So when she leaves, it's probably like, oh, <laughs> I'm, like, you know, she wasn't as as she didn't need Depends. me as much as I. Yeah, and like that's the thing is she also thinks maybe people don't. She thinks people need her more than they actually. Yeah. Do. And, you know, I think in this, in, in the sense of like the case and stuff, it's the same thing. Like, but I think that I really like the thing of like how she left and no one, no one came looking for her. So I think yeah, it is, for sure. so I, I think that is like a lot of obviously what's driving her to look for these girls and I think that when she finally does, that's the thing is that when you uncover what's been happening to these girls, I mean, Jesus Christ, that's like so fucking horrible. So yeah, 
it's she, like the guys farming them. Right. Yeah. So she's totally justified. Like that's the thing is that once you find out what has been going on, it's like, you know, well, and we also need to, because like the guy is uh, now these girls don't have to be the first girls that he's kidnapped either. Right. Like, cause the idea is that he's impregnating them and, and who knows doing what with the babies, but, uh, Maybe they're maybe he just releases them into the wild and you know yeah he's like well my prodigy is out there so right that's all I care about right um, let the mother yeah absent father like let the mother deal with that issue but, right like, at least my seed has been planted right um, some you know but if these are the first girls by the end of it. They need to either be showing or full on pregnant. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's another analogy we can get into about with feminism and everything. But uh, oh, I know, there's a lot. But, uh, so this whole this whole process needs to take months. You know. Yeah, that's like, what. Yeah, it has to really happen, or they're just not. <clears throat> they're not the first. Right, or there's other girls that are have well, already been be even more powerful. Is that they aren't the first, and there's all these un impregnated unwed mothers. Yeah, and they're like, and and all these other girls who've gone missing, all these unsolved missing. And the system just doesn't think about it. It would be. I mean, if we wanted to go, I mean, I don't know. This is like too probably too crazy. But like, if it's more than just this incel guy if it is this sure. if it is this ring of men who are doing this and maybe yeah, that might be a little too conspiratorial yeah because like, this is based on a real guy like right I said, right that, that stole this woman and was doing yeah. who knows what well, he, he stole multiple women kidnapped multiple women uh held them in like his basement in like a, a in a cinder block cell yeah. And and there was one that got away. It wasn't all at the same time like this, but right. it was over time. Right. Um, but that also isn't But I mean, you know, of the of the country club is like they know he's up to <coughs> something. They could just figure out what it is, but they right. don't want to ask questions. Right. You know, he's been doing it for the last year or something, which is enough to you know, have a get a couple of women pregnant and send them out there. Yeah. And you know, the the excuse is with these women, those women that have already have kids now, is oh, they're party girls, you know, they who knows the doctors aren't right nefarious. They're so they just got knocked up, you know. Girls do that, you know. That so what are the girls so what so how do the girls keep quiet about it? Yeah, that's the question. I mean, I mean that's kind of classic, you know. Why why don't women who are raped come forward? Oh, know? sure, 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 sure. It would just need to be something really like cuz people will say that, you know, and sure, yeah, it's like that's obvious. Like a lot of people don't talk about all the horrific things that have happened to them. Right. Um, but it is true. I mean, like the family, at least families of these girls, you would assume would be asking questions. But, exactly. Yeah. If all these girls were all of a sudden pregnant, like, even if they're drugged up or whatever, and they don't literally don't remember anything. Yeah. The, as soon as she like gave birth, they'd be like, well, how, where did that come from? Yeah. And especially if they've been getting, like, milked for months. Yeah. So you kind of have to figure out, like, how... Because, yeah, if these girls disappear and then for months and then... I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, because if... Especially if these girls are... I mean, maybe it isn't that they're gone for months at a time. Maybe it is just they get they're gone for a few weeks like vacation time 
and then they get released back into the world, and they're pregnant. You know, and we we just catch them before that happens. Or they've been impregnated, but they don't. You know, they. But what about the milking? Yeah, that's the issue. What about? The <laughs> I don't think I've ever said that sentence ever. Um, it's important. But what about the milking? Um. It's not really important. It's just a creep. I mean, factor. I mean, it, it is. It is a creep factor, but it's kind of like if we are gonna, <laughs> if we are gonna do that. <laughs> If we are going to do that, then, like, there needs to be, I mean, I don't know. It would need to be, like, I don't know what, I don't know what word I'm looking for, like, consistent or, like, at least, like, what is his purpose? I don't know. Yeah. Well, it's <clears> like <throat> as well, like, thrown in there for good Yeah. Um, so there is that. It was mostly just, hey, this is creepy. Like, he's... What is the ultimate misogynist think about women? Is that they yeah. give food, um, and they give birth, and that's it, and they look good for me, and that's right. It. So the logical conclusion of that is he's drinking all of their milk. If it seems like I'm getting more and more delirious as the night goes on, it's because that's accurate. Um, Please donate, subscribe, share, like, follow along in the progress for this thing. We want to get it made. Um, we want to get the story out. We got to we gotta do something, guys. Texas is a dystopia for women, uh, for minorities. For, well, unless you look like me, it sucks to be here. So we're doing what we can. So... Please donate. Uh, our email is here too. If you want to like, I, I gotta stop moving this camera around. Our email is here too. If you would like to uh, try and collaborate, if if you're like a, I don't know, well connected in some in the scene, um, maybe you don't have money, but you might know someone that does, or just like producers or something, you know. I don't know. If you have ideas, if you want to be in the movie, send us an email. Why not? You know? I can't promise I will put you in the movie just because you send us an email, but... I don't know. Why not? Anyway. We're taking this thing uh, grassroots. We're going to be transparent about this. Even if we end up finding money through a legit producer or distributor or something, we still want to show every step of the process because that's interesting. And, and the more traction we can get... Uh, the more we can spread awareness on these issues. Uh, and also, we want to, like, the more money that this movie makes, we're going to be donating it to all of our, like, causes. Well, I don't know specifically which co which charities and organizations, but about women's health, about abortion, you know, all this stuff. Um, so, yeah. Thanks. so. Oh, yeah. It's a shame it's not like a Star Trek world where you can just accelerate the birth. And right. Then, you know, within a week, there's a baby. Yeah. Then, you know, whatever. But there is also, like, there is so much that there is there with patriarchy and, like, <clears throat> with banning abortion and wanting women yeah. to just keep pumping out kids. And, you know, yeah, I mean, there, sure. it is, sure. there is, like, a whole thing there. So it's hard not to want to go into this area of, like, talking about that if we are well, that's, I mean that's kind of the thing if like realistically it's a small town uh there's a woman who has been forcibly impregnated um right against her will obviously right uh, I mean, which happens constantly and not in like a kidnapping scenario obviously. right 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 uh so what happens to these girls, especially if he's handpicking them so that they don't really have a family unit to protect yeah. them? Um, like, what happens to these girls? Do, and he might even drop them off in a different town, you know? Who knows? That's, yeah. But just good luck. Right. Yeah, no or phone, it be, no. It really could just be, no, you know what? It's even more powerful if they do have, like, a regular... Uh, American dream style family and the parents just don't believe 
this whole story that she told. Like, yeah. Just, yeah, she just got knocked up by her boyfriend or something. And or some happen. random guy you slut yeah. on your vacation. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Like it could be like that's what would happen. But if you get knocked up, I mean, it takes like weeks for yeah, that's know. for for yeah for any for you to find yeah, out. Someone's, well, it could be that um, these girls are going off to college or something. So he grabs them before they go to college. <laughs> And then they come back. It's summer. Maybe it's not spring break, but it's summer vacation or something. So it's summer, and these uh, he drops off these women that supposedly had gone to college for, of course, co- a semester. How long is a semester? Is it nine months? No, months? it's like yeah. I mean, that's enough time for someone to get pregnant and then get dropped back off home. Yeah, but then, like, the parents, their kids going off to college, they wouldn't talk to them at all for the first, yeah, like, semester of their, like, that's there's, true. there's, there's got to be, like, because I know it's in all movies, but this is really all, the only way it does work is if there are just, like, a bunch of missing cases, a bunch of missing person cases. Right. And, um... And you, when she does find him, you do discover that he has just been keeping all of these. I mean, because. It it definitely is more powerful and and more of the statement of the film. If they get impregnated, get released back into the real world and then get ignored. Right. So how does that happen? That's true. There is no family unit. Is it? Even if they do have a family unit, it's they're um, not connected, you know. Or and I mean, maybe there is a thing where it's like the, they do get threatened. Like if you tell anyone about this, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. If, just, yeah, that's a good analogy. If you if you tell anyone about this, I'm going to kill your whole family. I'm going to kill your yeah. whole, you know, that yeah. kind of thing. For sure. <clears throat> um, Maybe that is the case. Maybe they he releases them back out into the world and he says, here's the story. You know, you this is what happened to you. And if you tell anyone else yeah. the truth. Um, yeah, yeah that, that would, I mean, yeah, that's simple. <laughs> that makes sense. I mean, because that is what, when, and this is just from, uh, like, I know a personal, uh, uh, like a real case of someone who, <clears throat> was kidnapped and raped and then uh and then they they sort of like almost became friends with this person not became friends but like ended up having to talk with them and hang out with them after it happened and and then they dropped mm. them dropped them back off and and took their wallet took their um id oh. looked at everything and said hey you know i know you have a daughter i know where oh. you work, I know where you live. If you tell anyone about this, I will kill you and your daughter. So they ended up, with, but that caused them. But, but what happened to them ended up making them go crazy, and they would like right. hallucinate that that they would Ooh. see this guy in like that, that that people, other men that they knew, uh, they would imagine that it was the guy, and they would like run Ooh. from people they knew and um <clears throat> and like uh. So yeah, it's it's a very real thing that uh, when you have something like that happen to you, and then that person threatens you and tells you, you know, she ended up. Um, this was back in the seventies, but she ended up picking that person out of a lineup, eventually, uh, and so did another woman. But the guy had a freaking alibi. There at, at this uh, it, back back in there were no there was no um, DNA. Right. Um, so that was impossible. Um, but, um, but, but the guy, but she didn't tell anyone for a very long time because she was so scared that he was going to come and find her. And, um, well, and also like this guy, his dad is connected. Like he's the one right. real estate developer in town. Exactly. So, like, and he's part of that club. So like he knows everybody. And he could easily ruin the lives of him or her and her family easily. Right. Now, 
the question so i think that's perfect Problem but like you're okay okay yeah but the other thing is if he's done this before and there have been other families whose daughters have just randomly gone missing yeah. wouldn't parents be a little concerned about just sending their daughters on a trip if like kids had gone yeah. missing like yeah well if maybe this... it's only happened once before maybe it's not like a whole he just he's taking it to the next level okay yeah yeah that makes sense that makes sense like if it had happened once before then it would kind of be like oh that's happened but it's not going to happen again yeah. <laughs> and then you know it does yeah so maybe it's like Maybe it happened once before. So here's something that's extra sketchy um, and also super true. So when I lived in Michigan, it was a tiny little town. It was it was like 13,000 people. Um, the town in Michigan was famous in Michigan for its uh, county fair. Uh -huh. It was like, it's like a wholesome, you know, you got the carnival thing. There's like yeah. a rodeo, blah, 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 blah. Um, every single year. Uh, dozens, maybe not dozens, like a dozen of local teenage girls disappear with the carnival. Like, every single year. And they end up usually coming back, they just wanted to run away and join the circus. Or they, uh, get, they get hooked up with, like, the carnival. A carny, or, yeah. Or whatever. But every single year it happens. and it's, That's crazy. And what's gross, I thought it was disgusting. Yeah. Uh, what happens is, because it's so common... All of, you know, it's, uh, it's referred, there's not like a term for it in the town, but it's known in the town. And it's like, oh, that's just that thing that happens. You know, that's just <laughs> these girls being crazy. Right. Kind of yeah. But I was like, no, this, that's really like, uh, predatory. Like, come on, yeah, that's, that's fucked up. Girls too. Right. Teenagers, like they're children. <laughs> yeah. Actual teenagers. Right. Now, some of the carnies are as well, but, like, still, sure. still it's, like, sketchy as all get out. Right. Um, so that's not totally out of the realm of possibility. But no, yeah, and if it's a small town that a lot of people do want to get out, get away yeah. from, you know, I mean, it is kind of like what Deb in, in this, this sure. script, it's like she, she got, she wanted to get away, she got away, so, you know, it's like, and, and, and that also gives, that's, that's the other, that's, that's another like little just part of it is that if he releases them back <clears throat> into the wild, into their, you know, homes, their neighborhood, uh -huh. and he tells them, here's the story. You were a little slut over your vacation and right. you got, you got pregnant by this guy. That's what everyone's going to think. So the whole town now thinks that this good girl. Yeah is now this and so that's another form of yeah, just the uh, weaponizes the patriarchy he's he's knowingly doing it right right yeah, for sure it would also add like this other weird like element to it if he was like documenting all of this for his own weird like yeah, have you seen not? have you seen the movie have you seen the movie the documentary don't fuck with cats no on oh on? it's on netflix Okay, I don't have Netflix right now. Oh, I don't either. I've disconnected it, but fuck, it is like it. It's it would be good to watch while we're writing this because it's very okay. like it's it's these people who um they solved a case. They solved this crazy murder case, uh -huh. and talk about putting pieces like they they it's it's normal people, but they're like couch detectives that okay. sort of solved this murder case. Uh, because they were all in this Facebook cat group together. It's, <laughs> it's, it's really, it's really crazy to actually huh. end up like it, what, what it sounds insane, but, um, but yeah, so in that, in that they, uh, the guy who's doing, it's, it's so fucking crazy, dude. It blows my mind. But the guy who was the perpetrator, the one who they end up catching, um, he just has this fucked up sadistic mind, uh, where he likes to videotape himself, like, and document, like, all the things that he, like, all the fucked up stuff that he does just because it's like, he's like, so fucked up. And like, it would be like, if, if this guy, if this incel dude, like, you know, had this, like, believes that he, cause this guy who was doing it in this documentary that I'm talking about. 
he he had like this strange like following on the internet of people that like egged him on almost and like wanted him to take everything he did up to the next level because his first video is him killing a cat on 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 oh, really? on video and then and then they don't ever oh. show it of course and then posting it and these inter these internet like like cat lovers were like right. fuck this guy we're gonna figure out who this fucking guy is and, and obviously that's a known red flag for serial killers is that right and that's what they keep saying is he's killing animals we know that the next step is to kill a human and this guy literally does kill a person on video and posts it on the internet and and then the people are like we fucking told you because they go to the cops they go to everybody right. and they're like trying they're going look we're literally giving you step by step like because they they would right. piece together like what's that poster in the corner oh mm -hmm. it's this thing that was happening on this date so that must have been and they were like literally super sleuth piecing and they figured out the time the date the location mm -hmm. to where all of these things happen they figured out the time date location identity identity everything of the killing of the human being that this guy mm -hmm. did and the cops were still just like we don't we can't get to him we can't figure it's right. like every time they go there there'd be the body in a suitcase already like flies all around it and then they'd be like okay there's another that's he's dead well we tried to tell you where he was but you didn't you know so it was like, <clears throat> it's very interesting to kind of see how sure. you can like piece together like blatant evidence and right. cops and people will just be know. like, I don't know. So it's like, but, but this guy had people out there who were like egging him on, like not egging him on, but it was almost like the people who were trying to find him started blaming themselves and wondering if they pushed him too far oh. because because he was interacting with them and he would like post it on these forums and be like now motherfuckers where do you think i am now yeah. and then they'd be like so it, it became a game yeah and so they were like did we did we play a part in this did we well that could be interesting that he you know if he is an incel yeah and especially a man's rights he's actor, on the internet yeah he's on the internet he's interacting with these people right um, and this is sort of a this is a thing that really hasn't been covered in tv and film very much is sort of this culture yeah um and it's scary it is scary because it's a group of men who are hidden on the internet mm -hmm. they are hidden behind their computers and and so they don't seem scary because you don't actually right. think they're going to go out and so do anything in real life no but like Right, but like the San Bernardino shooter guy who yeah. killed, you know, like all those people, uh, like there's the incels, they're not just, they, they don't just stay behind their computer. A lot of them do end up. Well, and what would be in, would be a nice parallel with um, him documenting it is in his warped mind, these are his home movies. Exactly. So like, this is. The whole um, movie thing. Yeah, it's the home movie thing that th what ends up happening with the home movie is that it becomes as sadistic as what's happening in reality. Exactly. Um, so, you know, there's that. Parallel. It'd be a cool parallel thing there. Yeah. And it would it would be interesting, like. Uh, because, I mean, nowadays. The Internet, all of that is such a it is so integrated into everyone's right. lives. And if we are going the incel route, you don't become an incel without the internet. Right. I mean, that's just, yeah. that's, yeah. that's how it happens. Um, and so I think this men's rights group, like it could be, I mean, cause January 6th was all, un was all planned online yeah, in, sure. in forums, discord and yeah. yeah. And so it's like, I think if we do, and we do it right, uh, you know, like, connect sort of just this the hidden underground uh sort of circle of these people who do connect use use spaces on the internet mm -hmm. um as places to connect with each other plan things um and like uh basically hide from uh you know to hide from plain sight from people in in regular because it's like the guys at the bar and the guys in the country club, like we said, are all one and the same. Mm -hmm. And the only way they really are all connected is like through online, um, like yeah. 
discourse. Yeah. Yeah. They're all um uh, activating themselves. Right. Uh so that's that's great. And we can tie that into whatever the larger mission of the men's rights group is. You know, they're not mm -hmm. kidnapping these women, they're not behind it, but they're plotting something. We gotta figure out what that is. We don't that's not really what the movie yeah. is about. It's just but it should yeah. be there so we have yeah. something. Um, but we'll figure out whatever that is, you know. Yeah. It's probably it's probably something a little more in depth, like know, maybe <laughs> voting or maybe there's a march coming up or, you know, there's something that they want to disrupt or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I mean if if we wanted to go the route of like the abortion ban and all that stuff, there yeah, could be something like that. <clears throat> there could be a huge thing because like literally in Texas right now they are trying to make certain roads illegal yeah. for women to travel on to try yeah. to go to another state like it's yeah, literally yeah. turning into Gilead and I mean it's 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 just that it is so relevant and I mean but the laws are things are changing rap so yeah. rapidly with it that it would have to be something that is an over right. overarching and it could be yeah it could be anything like that if we wanted to get like super weird and creepy with it it could be that incel dude is like <clears throat> incel dude is tied in with some of those other guys who have like some local milk company and they sell their <laughs> We're not gonna go that far. yeah no we don't need to go that route but i do think that like tying it into like tying it yeah but like tying it into like um if we did want to talk about, because I mean, it is the patriarchy, it is a men's rights group. And there are plenty of women that are like, you know, on that same, in that party too. So um, if we did want to take it into like that whole like thing of like men totally wanting to um, control women's bodies and what they do yeah, with them. Sure. I mean that's that's what it is. This would just be a, on a more subtle scale, right? Maybe not. Well, yeah, but it's more subtle than kidnapping and impregnating women, it's, right? It's yeah, governmental. it's governmental. It's, it's systemic. It's it's, it's systemic, um, yeah. the, right. The country club is working on the systemic. Maybe okay. This is just doesn't have to go here, but maybe it does end up being where one of the girls who gets released back into the is like I, I need an abortion mm. or, or like I she's or she's trying to travel to another state and they catch her maybe like they catch her traveling to another state and then I end up I it, like you you find out that these men are like on like a crusade to like keep women in their place and keep women there in that town and keep them from you know maybe they are having like a uh uh some sort of town hall meeting about keeping those roads, you know, yeah, block with checkpoint. Check yeah. Check and, which is literally happening. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, you know, it, 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 we could try it. We'd have to do it without getting too into all the, right, the minutia of yeah. those laws and stuff, but it's very but real. That's what the foot soldiers are for. Like right. the country yeah. club is going to work on the government <clears throat> stuff. The foot soldiers are going to be the ones shutting down the roads. Exactly, standing there with their AR-15s and keeping those women in their place. I mean, honestly, that could really work into the whole. She's really starting to see everything as a conspiracy. Is she? Because it is goes, a conspiracy. Goes down. Oh well, yeah, but she like she goes down some road and then there's a roadblock there. Right. And there's these sketchy guys. Right. They let her through because she's not pregnant and, and she's a cop, or whatever. right? But she's like, that was what? Right. She's like, what was that? Right. She maybe connects it to, or in her mind, she connects it to all this stuff, you know? Yeah, maybe. It, it feels like a scene out of a science fiction movie for her, but you know, that's what's happening. So yeah, interesting. I'm trying to. There's all this other stuff that's coming in my mind. Like maybe the girl with the cock, maybe the cocktail waitress girl tries to maybe something else like in in the big like climax of everything that she ends up uncovering maybe it's like the the cocktail waitress girl that she talks to that she had like empathy for or whatever um is trying to take one of the other girls like this this happened to before who's like now uh -huh. pregnant 
yeah. maybe she tries to, she's trying to escape with her to get to like Colorado or something to sure. go have an abortion and these guys stop them in the and the, and there's like this yeah. whole for sure I don't know I don't know how to tie that but there's like but but somehow it could all tie in with like eh, I don't know I don't know well, My, it could literally just be cocktail waitress Somehow is friend. I mean, they're all the same age, so it's and it's a small town. town. So if she she is friends with one the first victim, maybe right. She was like, "All right, honey, I'll take you across state lines." Or whatever. yeah. Um, and this is just a passing story. Like she, it's she, not. Yeah, she, we don't see it or anything. But right. The information is relayed to Deb. Is that? Yeah, there was this woman that I knew. She got pregnant. She didn't say. She didn't go too much into detail, but I was like, yeah. She could just say it was, like, a girl at my school who, like, was saying she needed help, and I, you know, maybe she makes herself known as, like, a, you know, an anti, you know, a a pro-choice person or whatever. At the very least, I wish I had had someone to listen to me. Exactly. When I got pregnant, you know. Exactly. I wouldn't have have aborted the kid, but, like. Right, but if I had had that opportunity, you know. I mean, it was, I wish I could have had that, that, at least that chance. And then, like, as soon as she tries to ask off for work or something, or, you know, the, right. for whatever reason, there's a, there's a roadblock, either literal or... Right. You know, right. But, yeah, that could be interesting. But then we could find out that those guys who work at the country club and stuff are deeply involved in the politics of, right. like... Because we could see it in small, subtle ways, like just the signs that they have up or the, yeah. or, you know things that are in someone's office that say like, you know, keep, keep this town a pro-life town or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, uh, or not pro-life, but like, uh, yeah, we care about, there's a bunch of dog whistles way of saying it. Well, my neighbors actually have a, uh, 40 days of life, uh, pray to end abortion Uh signs posted in their yard. Yep. like, so, yeah, there, there's easily a lot of that. And maybe, you know, Deb has never really thought about that because she's never, yeah. it's never yeah. been a part of her world. But the more she talks to this girl and the more she thinks about the way these women are being controlled in this town by these men yeah. and, uh, you know, young teenage girls popping up pregnant and can't, they, they're just having these babies. And, like, right. you know, I think that, because that is a lot of the point about, these abortion bans is that these towns are already poor enough. These people are already like, you know, to force more children on these people who can already not afford yeah. them, whose lives are already, you know, it's like, uh, it's kind of hard to not see <laughs> that this is a bad idea. I some, I, this is real tangential. Anyway. Yeah. I got to go here in a second, but yeah, yeah. Um, there was some clip. I forget who the senator was, or no, it was a pat. No, it was the new Republican uh, speaker of the House. Oh yeah, he's um, God. Ugh. What he was holding a sermon, and he was he was essentially saying, "Oh well, if we outlaw abortion, that solves inflation because we have all these workers now." Oh, and it's like. You think about that for two seconds. Uh, sense, well, yeah, exactly. That's what they think, though. They think it's more people to buy their products and, and more somehow. soldiers to go die in wars. I mean, not even talking about the tax on the actual system. That right. That it puts value. on. Yeah. 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 So it's a uh, I think that I I know that there's a way to. To, it, yeah, it wouldn't be like full on about about that because it's right. patriarchy, but that's part of it. It's it's, of it's a huge part of it, and I think if we don't in, if we don't at least touch on it a little bit, yeah. any then, woman that watches it would at least be like, "Well, they live in Texas. Like, what about this? Like, and there's all yeah, these pregnant ass sure. teenagers. Like, <laughs> I mean, the whole thing is about forced and like pregnancy. Right, right. So if you birth. don't touch on it, it's going to seem like really? yeah. 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 These I mean, are the times. Yeah, these are the, these are that's the parallel is that this the incel guy is is the literal manifestation of the things that these guys are trying to plan, but right. subtle more subtle. <clears throat> right. 
which is what the patriarchy this this guy is is the personification of patriarchy right whereas these guys are still upholding it as a system exactly it's the generational um yeah problem. Oh. right yeah bam solving it solve the whole world's problems <laughs> The power of movies, Rick. Yes, yes. It's true, though. It's like, it's just interesting because, uh, you know, I mean, there's a lot that doesn't, a lot of it that doesn't get talked about. I mean, as far as just women and, and yeah. it doesn't get, it doesn't get really discussed, like, in a deep way. It's like, you know, of course, there's, like, strong women in movies, but it's like, it's like, oh, like, yeah, she's come through so much adversity and look at what she's done. Or right. she's just, she can kick butt and, like, shoot guns and, like, That's it. Uh, and it's like, <clears throat> okay, like, can we really talk about, like, what it's really like, though? And That's why, you know, listen, if there's, if we ever up upload this and there's a... Like, <laughs> Whoever, whoever made Wonder Woman, like yeah. on Wonder Woman, I did not understand why that became such a feminist manifesto. Right. Because I was like, I mean, yeah, she's a woman and she's She's strong. Wonder Woman. Yeah. And I, maybe in, in this, I haven't ever watched any of the Linda Cardellini, the old stuff. So maybe yeah. there's some, that was about the right era for there to be right. pro-feminist stuff, but I don't feel like that was in there. It right. It certainly wasn't in the movie. No. So like, I don't know. I mean, it was cool. Like, I think it's just the movie, idea but... of Wonder Woman was like the first, like, yeah, real like into like a men's club for sure. Yeah. So it it's like harder. I. It could have hit harder, but it you know, well, it could have. Yeah, I mean, hello, Barbie. Could have. Um, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I feel like Barbie did a much better job yeah. uh, as it far as as well. Right, right. And, and what, what I like about our, what we're setting up, similar to Barbie, not comparing the two, but uh, <laughs> is that they aren't, it's not political specifically. Right. I mean, it, it's politics, because especially if we touch on abortion and everything, but it's yeah. like we're saying, we're not saying Republicans this, that, right. that, that blah, 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 blah. It's the, the, it's the, the thing is, is that it shouldn't be no, that's political. Not yeah, See, that's that's the whole big picture is that this yeah. issue should not be political. This is a yeah. and this is what I've been trying to tell my parents and everybody is that ab abortion is. It's not it, it it's only political because they involve the religion in their yeah. politics. Yeah. And if you took religion completely out of it, which we're supposed to, it should be out of it, is right. everyone has the right to do whatever the fuck they want with their own body. And like, that's like, that's like men can, you guys can go get a vasectomy. Oh. All you have to do is just be like, oh, really? give it to me. Yeah. But if I wanted to go get a hysterectomy, I've got to get my husband to sign off on that. Yeah. So and it's like, and if you're under a certain age, there's no way. it's gonna No, happen. they're just like, you'll change your mind. Trust me. Yeah. Go away. Uh, so it's like you, there, there, there are so many aspects to the lives of women that a lot of women don't think about because they've never had to. <clears throat> but a lot of, it's, it's so, it's much more common than people actually realize. And, uh, pregnancy and being pregnant and being, going through what women go through with that is also much more complicated and much yeah. more. It's yeah. not just like I got baby, baby, get big, baby, pop out. Like there's like, it's like, <laughs> and then I'm fine. yeah, I mean, do it all over again. There's, there's a lot that goes to it. And miscarriages are yeah. extremely common. I but mean, the thing is, but now in Texas, it's it can't be common because yeah. you 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 they'll let they'll they won't let you have a safe miscarriage now. If you come yeah. in and say I'm going through a miscarriage, they're like, yeah, right, honey, you just want to kill that baby. Like that's or pretty much the the sonogram says the baby was born without a brain. Right. Well, 
Jesus might come through with a miracle on this one. Yeah. So let's just sit tight and wait, sweetheart. Meanwhile, we're going to make you deliver a brainless baby and go through that trauma. Wait, you mean a Republican? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll edit that out. But yeah, but that's the thing is that like, I know I'm being very harsh with my words here, but it's like, but the thing is, that's like, that's just part of what women are going through on a daily basis in 20 yep. something states right now. And, and, um, and it's not going to go away anytime. We're not just going to magically, even though we've had Biden and everybody saying like, I'm going to do, I'm going to fight for you guys. It's like, it's literally been not the last thing on everyone's agenda. Well, not until it comes time to vote and then the women get out. And then exactly. Like, but, oh, wait, but, this is a really motivating factor. We should but they have to put it on the ballot for women to vote on it. And it can't get on the ballot unless fucking somebody puts it there. So it's like. Well, yeah, until, until the polls say people, politicians right. should be talking about it. But, uh, yeah, yeah. So I think that it's. Well, and also, like, it's been 50 years in the making. You know, since Roe was instated, all these people. So, like, of course, it's not going to go anywhere. Even no. if it gets totally overturned, there could be another fifty years of people fighting against it to get that overturned. Exactly. It's the, so it never ends. No. But 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 it needs to be. I just think that you know it does need to be talked about more, and it needs to be yeah. talked about in a way that other women will actually be like, yes, thank you. Yeah. You know what's interesting? Because statistics say uh, it's a quarter of every woman, yeah. woman, a quarter has an abortion. Yeah. We have four women in this story that have been this is, and forcibly raped. This is true. So if we use the first one as an example of someone that at least tried to get one. Then that's, 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 that's it. Statistically that's statistically accurate. Right. Right. So that's Accidental, but we can play into that somehow. Yeah. Ooh, I, yeah. Yeah, it would be interesting if, like, um, yeah, we're getting, it would be too, it would be, it would get crazy. I was just gonna say, because <laughs> they have those, they have those, uh, those places in Texas everywhere that look, make themselves look like abortion clinics, but they're, yeah, they're but they're not. Yeah. yeah. So, like, if, uh, I don't know if there was like some scenario where she went to one and it was like really just this creepy place where all of these other women were there telling her like. Well, okay, so plot wise, this just struck something up for me. Maybe she doesn't find out about the guy first. Maybe she finds out about the crime first. Somehow she finds out and then she works her way to who's perpetrating the crime. Yeah. And, and then it gets worse and worse and worse. As right. Right. I don't know what that would be, but it, Maybe that's an, a more roundabout way to to really dig into how creepy this and sinister this guy is. Totally. Is she finds out about the girl that was, you know, that she could literally just look into, hey, these girls have been what I think is kidnapped. Mm -hmm. Has this happened has, before? Has anybody else been kidnapped? You know, are there any rumors at all out there of someone being kidnapped before? And then she finds this girl, this, maybe she doesn't yeah. find the actual girl. Maybe the girl got out of Dodge eventually, but she hears the story about this one girl that, yeah, she was supposedly kidnapped and, and raped. Maybe she, yeah, maybe the story is, yeah, the girl said she was kidnapped and raped, but yeah. everybody, but, but everybody knows she's just a slut and got, and yeah. she's like, but wait, but she says she got kidnapped and raped and they're like, yeah, but that's it, you know. And then she's like, okay, well, let's maybe go find out if that's, like, true. Yeah. And and then she starts to uncover that, like, not only was she kidnapped and raped, but she tried to have an abortion and was maybe stopped by... Or it could literally be, like, uh, the mother thinks the mother comes back in, in, in hysterics into the police station. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure my daughter's been kidnapped. Right. Aliens, and the cops start making jokes like, oh, yeah, you think she's Lori or whoever, you know, the original girl is. Yeah. Uh, you think it's another one of those. And right. She's like, what are you talking about? Oh, Lori, this girl, she she was actually a slut. She claimed that she was, you know, whatever, whatever. <clears throat> right. Um, but 
we, everyone knows she was the town bicycle, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and she's like, wait, who is this girl? Yeah. And then boom, 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 boom. And then you start really putting it all together. Yep. Yep, That's yep. Work. That would work. Yeah, yeah. I think all that stuff can be really, uh, not not subtle, but we don't have to go too far deep right. into the whole politics of it. But just right. like, if we even just talk about the fact that these are there, we get to the point where they're forcibly impregnating these girls. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, they, they are uh, like politician, like, you know, a uh, big time yeah. right wing. Yeah. Yeah, anti-abortion, like, lobby, not lobbyists, but, like, you know, like, uh, um, uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, My thing's, like, falling could apart. Be full of those people. It's not just the county. It's maybe the the sheriff or the... Right. The, and the state senator and whatever, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Like, maybe someone, she... <clears throat> yeah. Someone from the church, you know, that, that is paying everybody, you know, that kind of thing. Right. Yeah, like if she if she talks to one of those people or she passes by somewhere where someone tries to hand her like one of those pamphlets that's like, you know, mm -hmm. about aborted fetuses and what they she's like, she's right. just like, you know, it's just like, like, she's never really had to think about these things until she starts putting herself in these places where people do these kind of by fight to life. Right. And exactly. And then you find out that's the, you know, yeah, it's all the been. organization that, yeah. Right. Cause the, um, that, whoa, <laughs> hello. Um, cause the, the, that, that, that march that happened with the tiki tor torches, that was called yeah. the, <clears throat> it was called the, um, I forgot what the actual name of the march was, but it sounded not nefarious at all. Right. And that's the thing is that, you know, these, these men can have this group, but it's, it's, you know, and it doesn't sound, it sounds right. like they're good, like they're fighting for something. But, uh, but yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't know what time it is, but it, it's yeah, uh, two Oh nine for you. What's that? That's two and a half hours? Two hours and 38 time. minutes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's just like a Joe Rogan podcast. We're trying to really be like this. Exactly. 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 Like yes. Yeah. He's our, he's our model. He's our, he's, our, he's definitely our model. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> just like Jordan Peterson. Okay. Oh uh, God. Oh God. Well, thanks for talking to me. Oh, um, yeah, no, this I'll was try, fun. I'll try, within the next week, I'll try and get this all, blah, 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 blah. and then there's a lot of moving parts, so who knows how there's much a this lot. will actually end up in there. Yeah. But, you know, we can at least touch on some of it. Yeah. It. Yeah, no, I think, I think, I think if we get, get some more pages down and then we do another one of these, yeah. we can... And maybe we can do like an actual read through when I'm at my yeah. computer. That'd be kind of nice. Yeah. Eventually, you know, it would be cool. We can, once we get like a full, at least 90 pages or at least a rough, yeah. or, like the whole thing, however long it'll be. Do a table read. Reach out and you, I'm sure you can. Well, of course, I don't know with SAG strikes, like how the legality of that would work. But like we could I get mean, some, some of our actor friends to do some reading online stuff. And if we just like put it, it, yeah, I have a friend. I already know one that's like dying to like get to like do something like that. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, obviously, I don't think it would get in trouble because nobody's getting is being cast by with any, and also, no, we're not making money on this. No, anymore. this would just we could just put it up as we're doing this for fun to exercise yeah. our muscles, and we could be doing it to raise money for abortion rights. There you go. There you go. Which would be good. Yeah, you know? it would. Or to raise money for our own movie. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's uh, even even better. Yeah. Even better. For us. That um, would actually be cool. Say that this movie gets big. Mm -hmm. Such and such amount of the profits go to. Oh, that would be great. Whatever, whatever I know so is. many. Yeah, there's yeah. tons of them, especially. There's a lot in Texas. In Texas, yeah, t specifically Texas. Yeah. yeah. 
There's one yeah, that's the Planned Parenthood or something either. Way. Right. Yeah. There's one called Jane's Due Process, and they're really cool because they actually help minor, like underage girls who don't have the support of their family. They actually help them go through the litigation, get them a lawyer, help them get to the point where they can legally go somewhere else, get the abortion, they pay for it. Like they help underage girls uh, who need help. There's so many organizations like that, but, um, but they need all the help they can get. So it'd be, yeah, that would be an extra like, yeah, let's make that a, a, not a stretch goal, but like a goal. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah, that would be great. That would be great. And, and I think, you know, uh, once we meet with Marilyn on Wednesday and we talk with her about the other movie, I do think that there, there is like a cool, like through line here of like, of like female empowerment and just like, uh, uh, you're telling me a project that you're involved in. (laughs) Have this, this weird feminist, I mean, it's like a coincidence, a weird coincidence this way. Talk about a conspiracy. It is, it is, it is. It truly is, but don't don't tell anyone. Working together? It's trying to. I'm telling you. I don't like it. I don't know. Feels a little fishy. Um, Okay. Yeah. So I think once we once we talk to her and we like really get a sense of like where that's going to, I think it would be. I think. I think there is like just a way, I don't know how, and I don't know what ways, how these two things can sort of um, sure. feed each other and yeah. and help each other. Like you said, showing like if we, when we do a screening, like the short film before the feature yeah. and oh, it nice. does, and it does have like this, like, you know, sort of uh, interesting little, like, yeah. I mean, it is all about female empowerment, of course, but just like taking power back and yeah. It's, sure. Which would what what would also be really nice <clears throat> to get the audience in the mindset of of what they're about to watch. Exactly. So it's already like a nice little entree. Yeah. Here's trivia. It's stupid that in America, and then I'll go. I'm gonna leave this on this. Okay. It's stupid that in America we call the entree the main thing because in French entree is the entrance to the meal, so the appetizer should be the entree. And uh, I don't know what the main thing would be called, but it's dumb. It is we got dumb. it backwards. We did. We do a lot of things like that here in America, though. Look, well, there's a lot of backwards thing in America. I can't believe Hi. it. Right, talking to me. See you later. I know. See. You. All right, last one, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, like I've been saying, please. I doubt anybody's made it through this whole video. This thing is epic lengths. Uh, but thanks for sticking around. The quality gets better as it goes on, but, um, we know how to make movies just because this thing is, is not so high-end, high-quality. That's why we need your help, even. Uh, hit the donate button. Send us an email so that we can network with some people. Um, please do not send hate mail to us. I don't know. I don't want to be on a watch list anywhere, but send us send us some money if you can. We're trying to make this movie, and movies cost a lot of money, um, especially giant, enormous, heavy ones that are politically sensitive that people would not fund traditionally. So we got to do this grassroots. We got to do it ourselves. So uh, the next episode will have. Um, uh, a sound, better sounding audio. It'll be screen recorded a little bit better. Uh, and, you know, we get further into the script. Uh, oh, that might be kind of cool. Whoever donates, maybe you get a copy of the script. That'd be kind of cool. I don't know, I just came up with that. I should probably should have said that earlier. Okay, thanks, y'all. Enjoy. See you next week.